wish I could play more of that game. Priorities. <sighs> no PS4. I have no priorities. <laughs> Alright right, then. <laughs> well then you can make Bloodborne a priority, and then you're good. <laughs> Those are things you can do. <laughs> You have to try a few more new games with the Steam sale, the roguelike Steam sale. Oh yeah, I bought a couple of them. Yeah. The how, Die Hard Dungeon. Dungeon, and Dungeon Mans. I, I, yeah, I actually got that from Kickstarter. Oh, okay. Nice. It, it's decent. It came, out, it came out too early. Yeah, but it came out too early. Too it's early. got a lot of late game balance problems. Streaming, though. I haven't played it in a long time. But. Yeah. Hi, Jim. Hi. Oh, yeah. But it's really great, and everyone should get it. <laughs> I picked up Pixel Piracy because somebody suggested that. I said it was a lot like FTL. But I think I have that, but I still haven't played it yet. Wait, um, someone was, uh, Dever should sound me, uh, there's a game called Convoy, which yeah, is like FTL. Somebody else has told me that, yeah. yeah. I have not seen that one. I picked up Die Hard Dungeon, House of Dead Ninjas, and something else, I think. But I think no. uh, House of Dead Ninjas is pretty much not... It's a roguelike in the sense that it's randomized, but it feels more like a Metroidvania kind of clone. But it's not like that's also false because it's not a Metroidvania. Because Metroidvanias are you know level design crafted, mm -hmm. get the item to get to the next area, right. et cetera, et cetera. This is really kind of the gameplay is like a Metroid game, but it's all randomized levels okay. and you kind of go so through. So it's an action game. Spelunky, uh, Meat Boy. Kind of like Meat Boy with action, or Spelunky, I guess. Spelunky is probably closer to Meat Boy is not really action. Well, action Meat Boy is crafted, too. Spelunky. It's like Spelunky. Okay. There. <laughs> you, were, you were right in the first place. <laughs> <clears throat> I still need to play Nuclear Throne. Oh, yeah, that one, that one looks cool. Yeah. Um... I want to play more Risk of Rain. <laughs> I need to play more oh, Rebirth. I finally got, um... Finally cleared the chest and everything. Yeah. I just gotta do the dark room now, and then I'll have cleared cool. all, all the. Uh, well, I gotta do the the gates. Still Mega still. Satan. Yeah, I gotta do the gates. Although it's really Spoilers. stupid, you get absolutely nothing for killing him. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, it's, it's you get another ending, and that's it. No. And I've I've been doing it all in hard mode too, just because I hate myself. And <laughs> yeah, hard mode's not very good. It's mm -mm. pretty disappointing because it's not really. You just make you get less drops. Yeah, that's pretty much yeah. it. And that that's their. I mean, yes, it's hard because you, they give you less, but that's not an interesting hard mode at yeah. all. There was something else to it I thought too, besides just the drops, but I don't remember what else. Do you there. unlock? Um, you unlock new stuff. Ba the, yeah. the, what's really shitty is the things you unlock are co-op babies, yeah. which are like <laughs> the dumbest things. I actually looked at all the babies, and there's like 300 skins, yeah. <laughs> which is ridiculous, because you realize how much time was wasted on that throwaway mode. It's like, now if there was multiplayer... the co-op mode was fun when we played it. Were yeah, guys, like, yeah, for, uh, for about, <laughs> what, what do we play it, for like an hour? Yeah. And do you ever want to play it again? I would, yeah. Uh, would you? Are you just yeah, being bad for it? No, I it's a I party would. thing. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. I mean, if it was, if it was online, if it was hot online. Seat, hot seat gameplay, kind of fun. If it was online, that would be, that'd be more interesting, but playing co-ops. I don't know, because none of the babies had anything interesting. There's like... I of mean, the 300, there's like 12 babies that have interest. It does suck so. to have the shared health pool and yeah. pulling hearts all the time from yeah. Isaac, but that part really sucks. Yeah. It is cool, though, that you basically mimic Isaac's build on the other baby, though. Yeah. I so prefer, you get, like, double super OP. Yeah, you get, like, double brimstone. <laughs> I prefer they did it where, like, the baby gets, like, one heart, and then if it loses that heart, it has, like, a cooldown to come yeah. back. Or maybe it comes back after a room or something. Yeah. Like room. Mm. But stealing from the life pool does make it a pretty big detriment. Yeah. yeah that dog is. is a table licker. Yeah. <laughs> that what, dog is an everything licker. Somebody's having chat. <laughs> no. That's right, chat. They're making accusations. Polo licks everything. Yeah, it's not he's specific to tables. He's a dog. Me. Yeah. He also clubs humans with his mighty tail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so my uh, my dog also does the whole tail thing and like hits things in yeah. like harder than you think they should. And yeah. my girlfriend actually took um, it was unrelated, but she was at the vet and asking about if she's ever had dogs that had like broken tails from them hitting it too hard and. She, Apparently that's a 
That's a thing. Not, thing. N- not an uncommon thing for <laughs> wow. labs to hit their tails so hard on things that it breaks. Oh, jeez. That's poor dogs. <laughs> <laughs> poor dogs. Because they're so happy. They're, yeah, they're so they're happy. happy. <laughs> and then they're suddenly very not happy at all. <laughs> I have a sprained tail. You think they'd be really confused. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy that it brings their tail down. Like something was attacking them. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, yeah, I saw Raisin chasing her tail. Yeah. Lily bites her tail. I'm like, you, you've got to feel that, right? Like, <laughs> With the enemy striking me. Yeah. <laughs> <my order. laughs> I didn't even see it coming. <laughs> I mean, what's amazing to me is they understand that a mirror is a reflection because they, they you know, they don't... They look Do at they? you in the eyes <laughs> through the mirror, and they don't. They're not confused that there's no more. Another, no, yeah, yeah, another yeah, you. That's but true. at the same time, they're like biting their own tail. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, <laughs> I don't know how much of a, a concept of self dogs have. Yeah. Uh, if they all just react to stimuli, or maybe it'll maybe it's like the front half of their body they understand <laughs> is theirs, and the back half is <laughs> kind of like this guy's a stranger. <laughs> what, what is this? Why is this following me around? I don't understand. I don't have that many brain cells left to dedicate to self-knowledge. Most of them are dedicated to seeking out food. Yeah, and eating it. And yeah. throwing eating it other out. things I, that aren't it food. It depends on the dog, to be fair. Some dogs are pretty smart. Yeah. Most dogs aren't. Yeah. What's he doing? What's he doing? He's getting stuff. He got up. Walked away. What's he doing, Paul? Oh, so you don't have any messages from John D. I don't. Mm. 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 Oh yeah, the stream doesn't know. Uh, so John's having to work uh, later hours. Uh, we were gonna push the stream back, but he said he could make it. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Important updates. Mm-hmm. Updates. So Ricky. <clears throat> Well, it's ten minutes past. You guys want to go, get, go ahead and get started? Sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm fine with waiting. I don't care one way or the other. Uh, either way. I'm if you wanted us to get going, or we wanted to, because we did, we did <laughs> say we were gonna play it fast and loose today. We did. So. Sure, but then he said that everyone's going to be here at seven thirty, including him. So. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. But. We have just a few more minutes. Juice, so. Yeah. Do you guys want to do something in the meanwhile? How was Sean Bean Quest? <laughs> oh, it was pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty wacky. We went to a uh, we went to the moon, uh-huh. and there was a butler tournament, and but- um, butler a butler, butler tournament. Okay. It butler turned tournament. out that Sean Bean was a butler. Okay. But he was supposed to take a dive, but he wrestled with his honor. Space Bean. And with um, goons and a dishwashing competition and <laughs> space, space moon dog. And yeah. Space Bean's goal several people. was to make a space bee colony. Um, a bee colony in space. And uh, it, was, it was eventful. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I had to miss that. No, that's fine. I'm sure we'll play it again sometime. Yeah. It's uh, a lot of fun. Did they have Silent Hill, Sean Bean? Uh, mm. s- Geary Bean is in there. There's, so none of them are... Only one or two of them are very specific beans. Like, there's a Stark bean. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I made up a bunch more, just because not everyone is familiar with every type of Sean bean. Um, there's, like, Shame Shakespeare- on that, really. Shakespearean <laughs> bean and <laughs> spy bean. bean. Exactly. No, they, I, they had, uh, I made up swordy bean. Swordy bean, okay. Yeah. Sharp bean. Another one. Yep, sharp bean. Sharp bean is pretty distinctly sharp from the TV show Sharp. Very good in. That reminds me, did you guys hear that Silent Hills was cancelled? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Konami's. Yeah. Konami, what are you Konami doing? also delisted itself in the stock market. So. Well, <clears throat> what I understand is they it cost them more money to be in the stock market than they were actually raising, mm-hmm. so there was no reason for them. Oh, they're definitely going into the fully, you know, whatever makes us the most money mode. And I think they're sacrificing but, their games division to keep making more money in the gambling and spa division that they have and that stuff. So yeah, I think what it, what probably really happened, and although we'll not really know, it sounds like something happened between Kojima and maybe the CEO and the execs, yeah, and the execs, and they wanted to do what was going to make the money. Kojima wants to do what's probably going to make a good game, yeah, and making a good game is not cheap and efficient. 
and they probably won't with cheap and efficient. So but, Kojima but probably lost that power struggle. They're, they're being real forced out. about the whole situation, like removing Kojima's name from yeah. like everything. Yeah, he probably he probably tried to put his foot down. I bet he tried I, really hard to yeah. to get some sway or get like, some pull. Part or... of me doesn't want to pick up Metal Gear Solid Five because like fuck Konami, but then I played Ground Zero, so like this game is so good. <laughs> Yeah. MGS5 is gonna be awesome. Yeah. Hey. Yay! Hey. Hey. Do you still have those goldfish? No? I ate yeah. them gold before you even left. That's, that's the right. The, gold, the, gold the, the goldfish. Oh, yeah! That works. works. But there's that. Uh, I've got a bunch of chips in the chicken, too, if you want some of those. You can have some jalapeno oh, chips. Is your I'll backpack just full of snacks? It is. It's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty good. Good. How are you feeling? Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wearing a hat. I am wearing a hat because I didn't have time to shower. Justin Bieber says oh, you should sense. always do your hair. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I have hard hat hair. Or mm -hmm. Do you want to take a shower? I'm good. I have styling <laughs> products. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you still serious. have the turtle? It's the serious. live turtle yeah. that is my pet? Yes, I do. That's <laughs> awesome. Is yeah. he still hanging out in the bathtub? No, I, once the winter weather ended, oh, I moved it well, out to the patio. It is supposed to get 40 tonight. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's actually 50 like something right now. Actually. That's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm saying it was so cold. I want to bring him back in, or her, bring her back in, rather. I'm not seeing 40 on here, but. Um, well, given how cold it is right now, I'm willing to believe 40 tonight. It's like fifty something right now. Yeah. Those are two. Those are absolutely numbers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a number outside right now. Yep. It is indeed. Cool. It is still a number. Outside. Yes. It's it a number is. outside at all times. <laughs> <clears throat> at least two of them. Yep. Well, not necessarily. That well, depends on where you live. I guess that's. Right. <laughs> um. So what did we do last week? Does anyone remember? Uh, we had recap, uh, marching, recap. Uh, marching couches. <laughs> yeah, which, Dorsey which, couches. Uh, Marcus and Antoria has a real, <laughs> real bias against. Yeah. yeah, we started doing the whole Fantasia thing. We started yeah. singing and dancing, and then like the furniture started singing and dancing. And also, I think three or four of us almost died against the skeleton minotaur. Yes, yeah, <laughs> skeleton. Yeah, well, yeah. A giant skeleton minotaur rocked our shit pretty hard. Uh, yeah. In the library of the Lich, the Lich we destroyed. And then Toria befriended, befriended some shades. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> After befriending them and realizing they were kind of, well, totally and irredeemably evil, I was like, yeah, we'll just leave them here. <laughs> yeah, there was a group of shades that are protecting some kind of portal thing that we've determined are quite powerful and quite evil. Uh, so, at first we were going to try and help them out, but then we figured out that was not a great plan. So now we're heading back to the city, I think, to recoup and try and figure out what to do. Right, you were going to talk to the... Matthias, you know. Matthias. Yep. Okay, so you guys are marching back and to the city. And we're still right. waiting for our gold shipment to come in. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, yeah. I hope that it hasn't been ambushed on the way to the city. <laughs> that would be atrocious. Yeah. No, I don't think it did. Or that anyone has cursed your gold. No, I think they're all pretty... Ah, dude, we can all become unkillable skeleton dudes. The one thing you don't want to do is, is like curse the gold of the <clears throat> Squad of Truth. truth. Of course, of course. <laughs> the, the fame of the Squad of Truth is known for several blocks in every direction. <laughs> several blocks. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, as you're entering the, the city here at about, just about just after the sun's gone down, there's uh, still, you know, there's plenty of commotion here in the market area. People are sort of switching over to the, the nightlife. And um, uh, a man uh, steps out of the crowd as you're entering the city and says, You there! Are, are you the heroes? The, the ones that saved our city? Yes, the squad of truth, I think, is the words you are looking for. Spectacular. He unsheaths his sword and attacks. <laughs> oh! Alright. Well, okay then. <laughs> Everyone give me a perception check. Uh-oh. Spectacular. Uh... Bad. Nine. Pretty decent. Seventeen. Six. Eighteen. Just gotta one up the jury. <laughs> Eight. Eight? Eighteen is our best. Uh, I added seven. Okay. 
of Barrett and Zathus, you guys see several other thugs also move up out of the crowd, apparently uh, intent on making an attack. Mm. <clears throat> Do they have any markings, or are they similar to like the wizard hating dudes that tried to attack us before? Uh, a long time ago? Well, everyone in the planet hates wizards, okay, so, so you're going to have to narrow it down for me. Yeah. Black, Everyone, wrote, black I couldn't remember. Yeah, I couldn't remember. I thought they had a special attire they wore. Give me uh, an initiative roll. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not so terrible. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not great. There's that pen. I mean, other... Glad I still had my combat... Glad we took a short rest before we came back to town. Yep. I used to too on the different. Oh, I switched my character sheet so that like this one there. My father remember there is my initial They they did hear we oh, took down a lich, right? Yeah. <laughs> kind of, I don't think it's a smart idea to be a street dog and attack group of adventurers. That People that saved the lich. city. Yeah. <laughs> from, from, yeah. I mean, yeah. Fortress. I mean, obviously we've proven ourselves to be seasoned fighters. Maybe they're all lich thugs. Maybe. Mm. But, you know, yeah. you know how it is, like, in the Old West or whatever, the... Yeah, you always want to kill the guy that was, like, the best. Yeah. Then you'd be the best. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Marcus. Uh, uh seven. Sorry. Oh, maybe, they're the, maybe they're the Six. elves. Maybe they're the elves that you guys single-handedly like slaughtered most of their family. <laughs> really bad Marvin, game. fifteen. Hey, I didn't do anything. I just sat there. Oh yeah, most of the time. Elves. <laughs> Barrett, he's the one that seven. killed them all. <laughs> seven. Seventeen. Seven to one. Mm. This isn't a very good combat track. Okay, the guy with the sword. Oh, wait, I've got a map. Sword bro. Yeah. It's on sword bro. <laughs> so you guys are advancing from um, Lobos' side of the map. <laughs> That's us. That's how we're laid out. We'll call it bill randomization. <laughs> Character toss. I'm on this side of the table. Hi, Paulo! Hello. <laughs> Things are weird. I love that shirt, by the way. Thank you. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. You can get this at cb.com. It's a lot of dudes. Mm-hmm. Alright, so he steps up and swings a sword. A sword of startlingly quality make. At you, Lobo, taking a pair of slashes. What's your C again? Uh, 18. 18. One of them strikes true. Is he here? Yes. Okay. So we're basically at the city gates, right? You're just inside the city gates. Is there a lot of people around? There's a bit of a crowd, yes. You seem to be not startled, but, you know, aware that a, a, a scuffle has broken out. Uh, you take six points of slashing damage, Lotus. We didn't... Do anything to heal between nope. last session, right? Nope. We did a short rest, I think. Yeah, that was yeah, that one time. That was it. I think we got right. died back from short rest. And Tori, that's your turn. How are we doing as far as like where these other people who aren't combatants are? Uh, they are. Hmm. By this point, they're at least you know they, they're, they're aware of like oh, there's a fight. I need to move over here. So there's. Maybe people, like, within 20 feet of the furthest back guys, but no closer than that. Okay, so, like, there's no one, like, say, other than bad guys in, like, a radius like this, right? Yeah. Say the shape of that fireball uh, dinner Ooh. plate of ours. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it if you're interested in measuring. Yeah, sure am. <laughs> sure <laughs> am. I swear I've actually got the damn thing memorized. I'm pretty sure I do, though. Yeah, I do. It'll be a bad one to have decided to skip memorizing. Right? It's probably right. the guy any left. I think that works. Singe the uh, beard on Marcus if he has one. <laughs> and Toria looking oddly like he has a headache. It's a very 
disgusted almost look on his face and points in the general direction. He is trying to disguise that it's magic, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's only pointing. He's not, like, doing ma massive gesturing. How do you disguise a fireball appearing from thin air? Are you hitting them? all of them? Yeah, I'm hitting yeah. every single one of them. I guess you can make it look like he cast uh, it. <laughs> Uh, let's see, that's a 15 on sleight of hand, so a DC 15 deck save for those guys. Okay. They're not going to be alive much longer to yeah. notice that you catch the fireball. Um, They're going to be immune to fire. Well, that would be disappointing. <laughs> it would be disappointing. And how many people are getting hit? Uh, we have all of them. All of them. <laughs> Every single one. Okay. And the lead guy and the guy in the furthest back save. Okay, here comes the damage. We have, ooh, nice start. 14, I mean, uh, 16. Uh, 19, 25, 30. Uh, 33, 38, or 19. Wizards. <laughs> or magic users in general. I can't even do that single target. Well, maybe I hit all four times. And crit. And crit. Okay, all of them except for those two that I mentioned fall to the ground, oh, burning. Scorched into uh, no, all but ash. all but that one. Oh, yeah, the one oh. I think the one in the, the one in the back. back. He said. Oh, back. I'm sorry. Yep. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> Dinner plate done. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's shrieks of uh, terror from the crowd and from the front gate where there are still city guards stationed. Wizard, wizard, magic user. Yeah. One looks disgruntled and looks up, but okay. Marvin, it's your turn. The sole remaining thug will go next. There's only one. There's two. Well, there's there's a thug. He's and a sword, sword man. man. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Swordman. Sword dude. He's a sword guy. I He's a thug. A swordling. <laughs> Use magic missile to hit that guy. Okay. Wait. I can't. I don't have that spell. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> then you won't. I mean, I do. I don't have any uses of that. <laughs> I will use. Uh, I guess I'll just use Firebolt okay. to hit him. And I, I'm going to use my Attack of Chaos for advantage. Oh. Sounds good. Okay. No, have it. Where are we? That's me. Ah. Thank you. All the way from over there. Yep. I'm just that talented. Uh. Jeez. Does an 11 hit? Um, you're hitting the guy in the back, is that right? Yeah. Actually, it does hit. Damn. Nice. Wow. Very nice. Uh, for 14 points of fire on. damage. Oh, you blast him <laughs> off his feet, and he Probably crumbles to the ground. Three, I can hit him. <laughs> uh, there are additional cries of, Sorcerer! Sorcerer! Boy, they're... They really, really have a difference. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah really, they really Well, you didn't bother even today. trying to hide it, though, so um, they're definitely going to spot that. I, the <laughs> crowd, previously uh, surging away, now seems to be uh, charging forward. Not <laughs> charging, but creeping forward, at least. They look upset. Now we have to destroy all of Tier 2. Jeez. Um, <laughs> oh, well. That guy's it was eventually going to happen. Like Barrett to the ground. <laughs> 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 there's gonna, there will be bacon. <laughs> there will be bacon. There will be bacon. I'll take a step forward and then turn into a bear. And try to maw this guy. <laughs> druid! Druid! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Light blue can fighter, be the uh, <laughs> claw. I don't know what this other guy is. Light blue is gonna fumble. <laughs> Dark blue is probably gonna hit though. Uh, does a twenty-two hit? Is that it? Okay. God damn it! For a whopping six damage. Ah. Takes it like a tough guy. Did you get a? Uh, I did get a fumble. Right? Let's see what happens. Eleven. Uh, 11, you fall prone. Alright, so I bite him, and then when I go to claw, I trip over myself and do a bear roll. Mm. Marcus. Uh, <laughs> I'll even say Double roll. attack! Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> oh. Does a 12 hit? I'm sorry, I don't know. And nimbly parries both of your attacks. Impressive. <laughs> Say this. Mm-hmm. 
Actually, that makes it look like I'm dead. 16? Is 16? Or 16 does not. Shing! <laughs> Bats your sword away. Uh, whatever bonus action does it. Sure. Uh, his turn, he's gonna stab his sword a couple of times at the bear's feet. Sweet. Uh, one crits. Go for it. Mm. He wants a bear rug. The other... What did you race see? Uh, 12. 12, it absolutely hits. Yeah. So, first, we'll do the thing with the numbers. Slightly better than thugs. My AC. <laughs> <laughs> Slight. Well, you, are, you are a pro mm. stuffed animal, pretty yeah. much. Uh, you take 17 points of damage and from the first stab, and right. then 6 points of damage from the second. Alright, so that's 23 total. I'm still there. <laughs> then he is going to try and move back. Uh, pretty much straight back from where he's at. How far? Uh, he's gonna, well, he's gonna try and go 60. Right, we'll see. I, I think I'm prone. Uh, Disadvantage, but you can still try. Yeah. Well, he can also, right? 17? 17 hits. Ooh. I'll try and hit two from prone. No, no. I'm not gonna hit. 10, uh, 15 damage. 15 damage. You hew the legs out from underneath Ooh. him. Nice. <clears throat> Excellent. Like both of his feet just. <laughs> 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 falls over to the ground. Very good. Is he dead? Uh, he is on his way out. <laughs> he is a torso. Uh, <laughs> a torso. Well, no, no, no. He's, he's still, like, whole, just no, no feet. Oh, no it's feet. Not, like, his feet are, like, mid-stride, and then he's just, like, pouring blood, like, uh, uh, water sprinklers right. out, out from his ankles. Awesome. Well, Marcus will run down. So you can, like, take off into, like, space. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's what I do. That's <laughs> Marcus will grab the guy and say, Who are you with? Blood starts pouring out of his mouth. Oh. He's with blood. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the up. crowd is not like moving to engage, but they are like yelling angrily at you, like, Defiler! Defiler! Cursed wizards! Get out of here! Uh, there are some guardsmen sort of nervously moving up from the gate behind you. Behind. Zayda's kind of nudges Marvin. <laughs> Which way? <laughs> no, I'm kind of like, kind of with the elbow, like. Just nudging you, or just because he can. This would be a good time for some interesting words. <laughs> Fireball! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's my Not favorite. that one! Uh, that's my favorite word. <laughs> Peaceful ones, maybe. I, I will uh, <clears throat> approach the crowd. <laughs> Okay. And I will say, and I'll raise my hand up, and I say, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" Ah! Spell, spell! <laughs> Everyone scatters, like not like clearing the streets, yeah. but there's clearly like, "Oh, no, no, don't, don't, don't hurt us!" If you clear a path for us, we won't have to. Ah! <laughs> we here are the squad of truth. <laughs> we aim for justice in this world. And as you can see, these evil villains were up to nefarious deeds. We have direct information that they were responsible for the attack on the city <laughs> not but a few days ago. I'm rolling bluff here. Absolutely. Yeah. And meanwhile, Antoria's going to move up and search the body. Crit Natural 20. Natural oh. 20. <laughs> and all the time, yeah. Mar Marvin single handedly reverses millennia of discrimination against We love magic users! They're, You're the best! They're not like putting you on their shoulders and toting you around right. town, but neither are they any longer screaming or like sure. cowering at the sight of you. They're just sort of like standing around. You know, they, they seem willing to listen at the very least. Okay. Okay, keep going. But neither are they dispersing. Yes. Um, search, search. search. Good people of. Bacon Town. Bacon Town. Good people of Tier, we are. Uh, we have some very important missions that we must proceed with. If you will. We got a full quest log here. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've this one. This one has we just, a time bar that's ticking. <laughs> <laughs> if you will kindly let us pass, we will n pose no more issues it's with this bag. town, and uh, we will. We will not make ourselves uh, a, nuisance. a nuisance anymore in this town. Are you giving me another roll of some kind? Yes, this will be diplomacy. That sounds good. Crit. Uh, well, it's a 20, but it's not a crit. That's still pretty darn good. Yeah. They seem... 
swayed by your words. They're inclined to believe that you are their heroes, and they are willing to forget the... Now the fireball. <laughs> <laughs> now the time is ripe. <laughs> Everyone seems to just sort of mutter and turn and go on about their business. All right. I'll, I'll wave on. I'm assuming you guys want to like try to pick the coins off these. Oh, well, yeah. And Tori was already working on it with the lead guy. Of course yeah. he was. You nice. find... Uh, I didn't think we had much time. 75 pieces of silver. Okay. And a small pouch. <clears throat> okay. Um, anything interesting in the pouch? Ah, are you opening the pouch? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I said I was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Um, a tiny snake jabs its uh, oh, no. uh, fangs into your hand. Uh, oh. How much damage? That's a good question. Give me a con save. Okay. Do, do you have uh, I do have a I do have a shield up though. <laughs> oh, uh, well, I got a 15 to hit. Well, the shield's fine, but I mean, the damage is the question. Oh. Well, I only deal... Well, what did you get for Hansen? Uh, crap, it's an 8. Okay, you're only going to take 3 points of damage. Which the shield should block all of. Okay. Current state. And... <laughs> um, but it's... Like, the shield doesn't, like, stop the fangs from, like, piercing your skin, does it? Uh, it's a separate... What's... It's a separate entity for me. And we have we have said in the past it stops extra effects if it stopped the initial. Thing. Okay. So is this like the um, the Dune like sl fast motion shields that kind of thing? I think it's more. Uh, I'll just read the whole thing real quick. It's not that long actually. You can decide from that. Sure. It hadn't it hadn't come up in a while where there was a poison thing that did nothing sure. actually to me, but. Whoa! Who said anything about poison? You no, know, it's a snake. Let's see. Take eighteen points of lava. <laughs> <laughs> Arcane ward. You Starting at second level, you can weave magic around yourself for protection when you cast a spell, blah, 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 blah. The ward has hit points equal. When you take damage, the ward takes the damage instead. Oh. If this damage reduces the ward to zero hit points, you take remaining damage. Uh, While the ward has zero hit points, it doesn't matter. the ward get poisoned? Uh, <laughs> uh, given that you've taken no damage from it, I'm going to say that it works as just like a... of just a weave shield around you. and. Okay. I'm gonna say you just, missed your, the pouch. you just so, missed your opportunity to become a wear snake. <laughs> I don't think that's Great into ideas always interjected. <laughs> uh, the snake tries to slither out of the pouch and escape to the ground. Uh, I will. Hmm. Looks like he was starting to gesture at it, instead he just backs away and takes Marcus. out his dagger and throws the dagger at it. Okay. Oh, huh. I was gonna say Marcus steps on the snake. Yeah, oh. this fails. Alright. Try the dagger first. Okay. Uh, eight. <laughs> Probably just the ground. You hit it with the hilt. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna try and stamp on the thing? Step on the snake. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, uh, um, straight. Uh, do I have my strength modifier for this? Or uh, well, is this a multi attack? <laughs> hey, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, I get two attacks. Yeah, yeah, you'd, probably you'd, be you'd add your strength modifier yeah. and your proficiency bonus. Yeah, okay. Same as uh, a, this is an unarmed attack. Yeah, just a minus one because it's not a magic. It's like game. a roundhouse <laughs> kick, just to a snake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in that case, uh, seventeen. Seventeen. You kick. stomp the hell Axe out kick, of it. Axe kick, yeah. Do some damage. Uh, <laughs> what kind of damage? Uh, I think that's a d6 plus your strength modifier. Okay. Seven damage. Seven damage. <laughs> Flatten the thing. It turns into blood and goo. Excellent. Grimacing at the pouch <coughs> and rubbing his head off. It seems like there's still something in it. <coughs> yeah, this time he picks up, he takes a bag of his and just stuffs the pouch in that and then closes up the bag and okay. picks up his dagger. You don't want to pull the other snakes out of the bag? <laughs> not, <laughs> not at the moment. There's better ways to deal with that when we don't have a bunch of peasants. Ah, uh, yeah, a professional snake bag puller. <laughs> Called yeah. Mage Hand, so, yes. Somewhat annoyed, I'm going to look at what's going on behind me. Guys, if you don't Hello? mind... Yes, I need you to pull a bag out of a snake for me. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a quote. <laughs> yes, yes. This isn't a phone? Going. Sorry, no, no, sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> much longer this crowd's gonna be happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright. That's how they get you. Alright, we should probably get moving now if we're ready to go. You've been unmolested for a whole minute and a half, so yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um, Where are you guys going? Taking a roundabout approach. I could use the rest. Mm -hmm. well, I'd I rather have time since you can buy a hammock. I say we go to the tavern. Go to the hammock. Our <laughs> honk, and then send word to uh, the uh, Veil of Alliance from there because very, familiar. very well. That, Who knows if any of these, if any of this crowd that, is going to follow? Yes, us yes, that makes sense. Let's go. Mm. 
Alright. Where are you going? going? I'm sorry? Uh, the tavern. The, tavern. the okay. Golden King? Yes. Yeah. Okay. yes, the Golden King. Well, we're never going to That's, uh... What's that dude's name? The bartender yeah. with the slow mind. Brem. Brem. Yeah, Brem. Actually, Romalia yeah, she's there too. Yeah, she's there too, which sure. is good. All right, you arrive in about a half an hour, un uh, uh, bothered by sword swordsmen's or thugs mm -hmm. or city Crowd. guards or crowds alike. Uh, by, by now, the night is starting to get going properly. There's a good sized crowd here at the Kank. Uh, well, I guess I should start playing tavern music instead of <laughs> free the manix from the 10,000 BC. Or, 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 it's one of the, or it's one of those situations like it's a, a, a RPG where we've screwed up the factions, now everyone in town is hostile. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as anyone comes on screen, it's in the fire. Is, is it Sword and Skank? Is that what golden, gold, gold, golden, golden Skank. Sword and Skank. Sword and Skank. I don't know. What kind of animal was a Kank again? Is that the lizard? Kank is, uh, is that like the no, that's an Enix. Uh, that's an Erdlu. Uh, the Kank is Elephant. the alligator, <laughs> zebra. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What did you call me? <laughs> yes. Kanks are giant ants. Mm. They make honey. Mm. No, no. Actually, Kank Broy is one of the uh, finest. Uh, not finest, but it's one of the signature <laughs> dishes at uh, the Golden Golden Kank. Kanky. Mm. <laughs> Once we arrive, Antoria will look around for uh, Romalia. Romalia. Yeah. Marcus will. I should have waited to see what Marcus she said. Marcus will grab a yeah. drink. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, I want to go up to Brem. If it's working. Brem's, of course, delighted to see you. Yeah. You can't find Romalia, as a matter of fact. Huh? Hey, Brem. Hey. What's the uh, What's the word on the street? Ooh. 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 The word on the street is fireball. <laughs> <laughs> Say. Fireball. <laughs> I Supposedly, there's a big no idea what you're talking. Big about, explosion. Right? Oh, over the, over the merchant caravan gates. Any idea who did that? Oh, oh. oh is that just... oh. I do. Who is that? It was me. Oh, uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. From you little sneak. Oh, don't tell me. They'll have me arrested and killed. <laughs> or worse. Ma magical powers. <laughs> well, Graham, can you magic me a drink, please? Fuck. Well, goes and gets everyone their <laughs> drinks of choice. While he's gone, I um, I kind of tug a notorious, you know, jacket or whatever, kind of pull him aside. And I think he wears, like, a sack. <laughs> it's, 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 like, it's, it's just a flower sack. A little potato sack. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's raining, then he wears a trash bag. <laughs> He's got snakes. But it's inside. never raining. It's dark sack. It's actually reversible. You just put it inside, <laughs> inside out. out yeah. One side's trash bag, the other side's sack. Yeah, you never like... have to wash it. You just reverse it. Yeah, good <laughs> cup. But anyways, uh, I asked him if he's uh, feeling okay. Uh, it seems like he's... There seems like there's something wrong. It actually takes you several tugs of his, uh, whatever <laughs> garment he's wearing <laughs> okay. to actually successfully get his attention. He seems definitely startled and jumps a little. <laughs> no, there's something wrong. We need to go to Matthias now. The others don't need to know about it. <laughs> Quickly. He, start, he, start, oops. he actually starts heading outside almost as soon as he finishes speaking. Right. I quickly follow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to Marcus and Barrett and be like, you guys notice those two lovebirds that have been out a lot lately? <laughs> <laughs> they must I have some business. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess to see if we notice. Well, well I mean, they were... Are they telling us? They, they yeah, did you guys just out. leave without we us? We just left, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna see if I noticed you leaving. I do not notice <laughs> you leaving. <laughs> I'm too busy in my cups. I, just, I, I, got, I got an eight total, so... Are you guys detecting to see if they were leaving? Yeah. yeah. We're just going to say that we didn't, probably. Okay. Well, he might, he might have. Notice. But Seven will they say anything is the question. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just did say oh, something. Oh, there Literally yeah. just yeah. now. Okay. Huh. Well, a little distracted. Yeah. All right. Yeah, should we uh, go with them, or do they have a nicer business around here? Probably Antoria must have left. Dumb <laughs> yeah. I think a <laughs> celebration I agree. Doing heroic deeds. Huzzah! <laughs> Brem, <laughs> an excellent job with that 
fastball. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the crowd of uh, yeah. at the Golden Can who of course loves Brown. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, to Brown. <laughs> yeah, to Brown. <laughs> He's so simple. Yeah. What are you guys doing out in the streets? Uh and once uh, the once we're about outside, maybe three blocks away, it's like we're going to head there. But try to keep an eye out for anyone following us. After what happened to the gate, I don't want to lead anyone there. Indeed. And I. Well, look, one moment. Say this. Give me a perception check. Oh, it's eye. If it's your eyeballs, you get the advantage from your mask thingy, right? Do I? No, you said you do. I think. Yeah. I thought it was just, um... What's your eyeball thing again? The advantage on sight-based perception. I think. Eyes of the eagle? Eyes of the eagle. I thought it just made things that were far away easier to see. Oh. Hmm. What was what is it written down as? Uh, all I have is eyes of the eagle. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like you just have a couple of eyes from a bird <laughs> that you eviscerated as you are known to do. Yeah, that's, that could be too. Yeah. Um, would you like me to look up what the eyes of the eagle do? <laughs> Might be handy. <laughs> yeah. I'll write it down. Okay. Um, um, well, 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 that's fine. Yeah. I mean, uh, we, we can scribble it down in the um, While you're doing that, Antori actually hands you a strange assortment of objects and says, for the moment, I can't... Here, juggle these. I can't trust myself with these. Uh, for the record, Antoria is handing him the dragon bone wand and all the spell components for any damaging spells. Okay. okay that sounds good. Although notably, there are some damage spells that require no material components. What about that scroll you've got? Uh, he's keeping that on himself for the moment. Okay. Okay, so you gave me a dragon bone wand and spell components. Yeah. Just oh, mark it as offensive junk. Hopefully, you won't be keeping it for very long. Right. But... It's very offensive. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the Zethus. I, I know, I know which ones they are, and I can, I've, I've got them on my sheet too, so we'll know which ones. Are ones. you making any attempts to disguise the fact that you're handing over a bunch of wizardly uh, <laughs> well, items mostly, in the middle of the street? Well, I'll slide of hand it, but it's just a pouch full of stuff, really. It's okay. not terribly exciting looking. It's not like a bag woven out of like the plastic rings. That well, look what I wear. I mean, packs. it's like a very. That's what I'm saying. Is like, how did you find a bag? <laughs> did you shoplift it from an HEV? <laughs> Probably did. <laughs> uh, I got a night. I got twenty actually on the sleight of hand check. Okay, so that's pretty good. Yeah, and I'm also keeping an eye out for followers if that helps. Uh, the eyes of the eagle. Uh, when wearing them, you have advantage on perception checks that rely on sight. In conditions of clear visibility, you can make out details of even extremely distant creatures and objects as small as two feet across. So that's two effects. Advantage on sight-based perception and the other thing. We need to get the eyes of the tiger. Eyes of the tiger. Uh, we'll just shapeshift into a tiger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <more. laughs> and then heal yourself. I can do that. So just change into every eyes, single type of animal. Yeah, I assume on this one too. So you've got yeah, your the advantage, and then the other effect was uh, seeing far away stuff. Or yeah, whatever. telescopic vision. Okay. Pretty good stuff. Like your eyes just. Right. I keep forgetting so, I can change your eyes. Things other than so let, me, let me roll another one. Give the advantage. Uh, might be better than ten. Might not. Might not. Yep. Nope. So, so sixteen. Okay. On my percent on the perception. Cool. All right. Well, we'll keep heading there, keeping an eye out for anyone following us as yeah, best I'll, we can. I'll keep uh, so trying to. And we're taking check it. my six. I mean, Victoria <laughs> will about let's say three times before arriving take roundabout turns there that aren't normally part of the route. Okay. Especially if he knows any that lead into like more open areas where it would be harder to hide. Sure. He's being very paranoid about it this time. Give me a... Uh, what's, what's a good skill for that? Because you're not intimately familiar with these streets, necessarily. You've been back and forth between that one route pretty often. Yeah. Uh, uh, investigate, have... survival... Uh... History... <laughs> I don't mean, because wouldn't it be just like sense of, be a sense of direction? I mean, yeah. you know, like, we know that it's over there from where we're headed, so I mean, like, as we... Sure, but a not well laid out... Um, <laughs> Pre, uh, Survival, pre, pre, perception. pre-Google Maps. <laughs> um, I, I'm gonna say uh, Perception or Investigation. I'll, since it's I'll take Investigation. A, yeah. That seems happy. Uh, 16. Okay. And give me another one. Okay. Uh, 18. And give me another one. Uh, 18. Okay, well... 
given your keen mind and your familiarity with the, the surroundings, you're able to find your way through Bacon Town with relative ease and uh, a little bit longer than it usually takes you, but eventually depositing you at the temple that serves as the Alliance headquarters. Okay, and before I make any direct approach of the temple, I'm going to take one more careful look around to see if there's anyone watching or showing an abnormal interest. Sure. No, I guess so will I. Was better at perception. Uh, Seventeen. Mm, Fourteen. Okay, you guys don't actually see anyone else around. You get advantage on that or no? Oh yeah, I still yeah. get advantage. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you've thrown your eyes of the eagle into the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. On the way item. here. Yeah. Uh, uh, not, not, not better. All right. Not better at all. Good stuff. Yep. Says the DM. <laughs> oh, and nefarious things. Uh, one question. So there's a. The, the initial layout of this place, there's a corridor that you go in, right? A very narrow hallway. How long is that narrow hallway, if we remember? It's only about 10 or 15 feet. That actually would be okay. Thank you. So is there anyone around at all, or we've decided <laughs> there's no one we can see? No, there's actually no one that you can see in this area. That's part of the, one of the reasons why they chose this area. Alright, then getting, getting even the further out of sight... Trying, like, trying to see that basically the only eyes I want to be able to see me would be someone already in the corridor. There's only what? I'm, I'm trying to get to a place where I'm basically trying to hide in the general area. But I still have, I still want line of sight on the corridor. Okay, there's not a place to give you cover, like, immediately straight into it. So okay. you're going to have disadvantage on it. Give me a self-check. Okay. And uh, not really. <laughs> it's like a six or something. Okay. Uh, Alright. Are you standing underneath a street light? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm looking disgusted. Then I, while I have <laughs> line of sight of the corridor, oh, look what I'm wearing. I will slide of I will slide of hand cast misty step so I can teleport inside about actually walking towards it. Okay. Uh, twelve. That's for slights. Yeah. And then I miss. Then I vanish into a misty cloud. And unless someone has line of sight of the end of the corridor, they do not see where I reappear. Okay. So I'm now. What is this doing? Uh, yeah, what is Nathus doing? <laughs> uh, did I arrive safely in the corridor? Yep. Then I will cast a message spell, sleight of handing that too, because I'm feeling extra paranoid. Uh, 14. I'll be back, and a message of forms in your mind. I'll be back soon. And I, um, can, I, I can respond, right? You have, yeah, you can respond within one minute. What would you have me do? Wait, and, uh, I'll have to cast it again, sorry. <laughs> uh, Keep asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> 17 on that slight. Uh, wait and watch. Come in after half an hour. Okay. Okay. Is there anyone inside? You're heading down the hallway? Yeah. Okay. What's going on back at the tavern? Are you guys doing anything <laughs> of particular Just interest? Drinking, really. Drinking competition. Drinking. Celebrating yeah. Brim. Yeah. Brim's awesome. Yeah. Spectacular. I think I have anything else to do <laughs> in particular. Okay. Well, back at the uh, temple, no one is in the... Unless Romalia shows up. Uh, she is not there. Okay. Not that you're seeing anyone. Yeah. Um, there's no one in the central clearing where there's the tree. Hmm. You know, that one clearing? Yeah. So, that I remember tree. the layout a little bit before. I was, I was led to, uh, Matthias's chambers once, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. I remember where that is. Yep. I will cast Detect Magic and start walking that way, but stopping if I see anything that starts lighting up on Detect Magic that looks like it would be a problem. Okay. So, ten minutes, Detect Magic. Anything coming up? Uh, there are some traps lining the hallways, as a matter of fact, but most of them sort of seem to be in an inert state right at this moment. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure of that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then I will head towards his... Based house. on your experience with yeah. the Alliance in the past, this is pretty standard for operating procedure for them okay I'll, I'll call out relative i'll call out uh, i don't i'm trying to call out so i wouldn't be heard outside but i could be heard inside hopefully. sure yeah okay whatever volume i feel like that is as i walk towards uh <laughs> as i walk towards where i was uh led to before okay and what are you calling out anyone here <laughs> Uh, can I hear where the snoring's coming from? Yeah, sure. Message. Wake up. This is important. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> he does that for a minute. <laughs> Please. Well, for six seconds. So. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I'm a... Ooh, ooh, who's, who's that? Who's, mm. It's me, Antoria. We have many problems. Oh, I've got one once. problem right this moment. What would that be? You! What are you doing waking me up in the middle of the night? That's very rude. I understand that. Let me put on some tea. <laughs> My apologies. And I actually will mage hand and help with the tea if, if allowed to. Oh. Alright, alright. Punches the mage hand or punches you? <laughs> oh, I was 30 feet away. <laughs> Your mage hand is poisoned. Tele- oh, no. Telekinetic punch. Yes, yes, yes. What is it? What is it? What is it? I believe I was cursed while examining things in the lich's domain. Ooh. Cursed, you say? What, what on earth gives you that idea? This damn symbol. I can't get it out of my mind. Ooh. And I know it's not because it's inherently interesting. It just won't leave. That's, that's, that sounds very serious. But where did you see this symbol? It was on a scroll. Do you still have it? Yes, but don't look at it for... Well, that's, 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 that's fine. Uh, describe it to me. Well, I describe it to him as accurately as someone who... You can who, see it right now. Yeah, yeah. As someone who could not get it out of his mind. No, 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 no. Not just the the, the symbol, the, the scroll. Is there anything... It also what? bore the mark of the ghost vipers. It was a very old... Are you scroll. deliberately not pulling out the scroll? Because you said that you still have it, right? I, well, yeah, see, reluctantly we'll... we'll oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, I, I figured uh, it Yes. All right, rather than pulling it out, then he describes it in great detail. Mm. Glancing at it himself if he has to to refresh himself, but not at the symbol, just at like the general construction and makeup of it. Oh come on now! You're, if you're already cursed, you're far too late. Come on, <laughs> g- g- give me a give me a full inspection. Come on, be a sport. Very, <laughs> very, very reluctantly. Full curse, no very, half measures. Very reluctantly, he uh, opens the scroll and says, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. "Yes, yes." I know what the symbol looks like. Do I really need to open it again? Please, if you want any of my help. I would prefer a full inspection. What the hell? It's gone. Hmm? It's blank. Hmm. Hmm. Well, don't look at it, but it's... <laughs> are, are you quite sure? I'm quite sure. Oh, is this, is this perhaps more dire than I'd been led to believe when you roused me from my slumber? Hmm. Hmm. Do you know hmm. something of this? I, I've, I've, never I've heard of such things. I'll have to do some research. Um, try to stay alive. Um, well, but return here mm, tomorrow evening. I'll that, see if I'll see if I can. That brings us to our second and third problems. Oh. We were attacked at the gate oh. by a group of thugs, but one of them was rather well armed. Unfortunately, I haven't had time to examine what he had with him yet. The first time I tried, it was trapped. I figured I would do it here in relative safety. Oh yes, it's much safer to open a trap here at my quarters. <laughs> You are just the sort of material we're looking for here in the Alliance. <laughs> I didn't mean right here in your quarters. Good. Go on down the hallway. It's much safer there. That was the idea. All right. I take out the bag, and this time using Mage Hand, I open okay. the pouch out of after removing it from the bag. Okay. And then I'll empty the pouch out and see what's there. Okay. There's a small signet ring on the inside. Hmm. Does it look like uh, the elemental signet? No. Sign- okay. It does not. Completely different signet ring. Does it look like Are you signet? still alive out there? For the moment. Does it look like the signet ring I'm normally wearing? <laughs> now, what does it look like then, signet ring wise? It, it looks like. Uh, give me a history check. Oh, I'm good at those. <laughs> yes, I think I'm hard to remember what skills I'm good at anymore. Uh, nope, that's actually not one of the ones I'm awesome at. Oh no. I uh, got a 22. 22? Oh, yeah, you're not that good at it. Well, it rolled an 18. What a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. The emblem is a pair of crossed scimitars. This is uh, the emblem of House Stell, a merchant house from out of Uruk. House scimitars. One of the major houses from your home city, as a matter of fact. What are they doing here? You said Stelm? Stell. S-T-E-L. All right. Uh, carefully mage hand the ring up and look at it carefully. Sure. Put it back in the pouch and then put the pouch back in the bag and put that back in my... Things and then Your go. Sack. And, sure. Yeah. Then I go tell Matthias what I found. It's All right. A ring for my hometown of House Stell. Ooh. Lousy buggers. What would they want with us? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> although, although I had heard that you've recently been even more deeply employed with the Over Council. Hmm. I hadn't heard it. Oh. 
I, I know of what you speak, man. Good, good. <laughs> what was your other problem? I'm either to get eager to either get researching or get back to sleep. The other problem is we found a set of creatures at the Lich's lair's remains that we were not able to deal with. A group of very strong, strange shadow phantoms that were bound there to guard something. I have discerned that as long as they're not attacked or the room interfered with, they are bound there, but if they get free, they... <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Do you... Oh no, it's in my head. Hello, Homsville! Out in the hallway. Someone's here. Through the bead curtain that uh, forms Matthias's door barges another of the cell swordsmen. He takes a hue at you with his own sword. Uh, what's your AC? Uh, 15 at the moment. Completely whiffs. <laughs> ah! You. You're one of them. And I'll begin casting ooh, a spell. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, do I need initiative or... Yeah, I need an initiative roll. Alright. Does he get past me? or? He did. Yeah. Uh, mm. four. Alright. That's a temporary problem. I wouldn't. <laughs> you guys didn't have four? Your four on the Four? Well, you I, take but I didn't have to do it. Didn't get another one, yeah. Why well, I didn't have to do it, but he, like, I guess literally slipped yeah. past me, like. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I was rolling when you guys were, got to the, the place. Yeah. Alright, he, uh, hews into you with his long sword. Would a 20 Good stop it? Ever. Uh, no, it would not, as okay. a matter of fact. Then I gotta take it. Get you. You take seven points of sword damage. <laughs> Right in your sword. Shield absorbs it, <laughs> and Mentoria gets a slightly large shaving cut. He looks frustrated. Ah. Alright, uh, for my turn, yep. I will activate the Sending Stone. You receive a very loud message. Someone got by you! Come in at once, please! <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds like when the Sending Stone turns on. Okay. <laughs> oh, no one's ever used them before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's just in your head. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, weird. <laughs> like, there aren't people, like, turning on their lights and leaning out their windows. <laughs> Turn that thing along! Yeah. <laughs> Turn off that damn car alarm! <laughs> Turn off that right. magic spell! Yeah, we the... hate magic. Alright, so I turn on my heels and run into the... The, uh, whatever. Temple. The hallway of the temple. Yes. Uh, it's gonna take another turn for you to get to where they're at, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, he takes another swing in your direction and strikes true! So 20 wouldn't stop? No. Oh, jeez. Uh, you take 12 points of sword damage. 12 points of stab looks a little hurt at the moment. Cries out, tired dogs! Your turn. Alright, Victoria glares and makes a brief gesture in front of him, and a flash of orange light erupts directly in his face. Uh, DC 15 con save. Or die. Uh, <laughs> nope, no saves. He is blinded. Ah! I'm blinded! <laughs> I, I can't see! And call, and Tori calls With my behind. eyes! <laughs> They're blinded! <laughs> uh, Tori, done! Terry calls behind him, Matthias, please, finish him off! <laughs> Say this, uh, sprinting uh, towards the commotion, you're able to uh, burst into the room. Okay. Assuming bursting is the thing that you want to do. <laughs> bursting is the thing that I want to do. It's yes. <laughs> you see, you please, see a blinded fellow burst. with a dr with a, with <laughs> a sword. <laughs> I attack the guy, hold, clutching his eyes and swinging a sword wildly through the air mm -hmm. with my. Uh, Short so you attack Matthias. Uh, you'll have advantage. <laughs> Natural on. 20. Oh my oh. god! Oh. I don't think you need I guess advantage. you don't need it. It's gonna explode! Alright, time for some explodies. <laughs> Alright, so, double my... Which is where I'm a level 5, so 3d6, that's 6d6. Gotta get that critical hit button. Two. Yep. Just get an air horn. <laughs> That, so I should say 8 Jesus. <laughs> Stab. Because <laughs> it's, it's my yeah, it all attack is 3 yeah, six. It all doubles. Yeah. So you're fireballing him, basically. Alright, so 5, <laughs> 12, 13. Still not a Wii, though. Oh, shit. 13, that's... 15, 18, 24... 32, no, 30, plus 30 Is that a cast iron one? That was heavy. Yeah, these are, uh, <laughs> these are metal. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I add my dex mod, right, so it's yep. 34, 
plus my proficiency. Not for damage. Not for damage, that's right. Yep. Um, where's my weapon? Plus one, that's... 35. 35. 35 points of damage? 35 points of damage. Describe for me your killing blow. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. So he's, you know, <clears throat> whatever. <clears throat> I take my short sword and parry the sword out of my way. <clears throat> Bring it down, cut off his arm, <laughs> stick it through his side, <laughs> into his side, and rend it up. <laughs> my blood! My blood. It's no longer in my body. <laughs> oh, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Torgo oh. grimaces at his wounds a bit. Oh, you've, you've woken me up and let an intruder in. Yes, yes, this has been a fine night. A fine <laughs> night. We don't have best to lose them. Mm, yes. But there are two other problems. Well, there's one other problem we have. How many lose. problems can <laughs> you possibly have? 99, all right? Pay attention. <laughs> well, besides the shadow creatures we mentioned... I only listen to country. <laughs> the only other member of the Alliance was supposed to meet us at the tavern. She was not there. Oh, have you heard from her? Well, well, no, but Brem would probably have known. Did you ask Brem? No, to be honest. <sighs> We're in a bit of a hurry, given all the Meanwhile, other problems. Meanwhile, I'm going to drink. Hey, Brem, where's Amalia? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Funny you should ask. She looked all worried. She was saying, um, she'll be at... At... Oh... Broken Anvil. She was going to be at Broken Anvil near the Elva Market. Oh. Huh. And you should see her there. But she doesn't know we're having a party. Oh. Ah! <laughs> oh! It's a room! <laughs> well, I can hardly be blame you for not wanting to talk to Brem. He's a bit of an odd fellow. Look, in light of everything that's happened, what, what should our next move be? I don't know. Find look, one. I'll look into this curse, whatever it is. Le g give me that scroll. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll look into it. Come see me tomorrow. I'll tell you if I can, if I've found anything out. All right. Uh, in, the, in the meanwhile, just watch your back. You as well. Mm. And turns and leaves. And Toria nods to Zathus. Thank you very much. For... <laughs> you may have saved us both. That's what friends are for. Wipes it on his sleeve. Wipes his sword on his sleeve. You should wipe it on his sack. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's uh, okay, yeah. Okay. 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 And we're heading back to the Golden <laughs> Cank, yeah. Yeah, you are. So, yeah, <laughs> as, we, as, we, as we're walking or whatever, uh, I... Kind of, you know, I lean into it. I guess I, after we leave the temple, I kind of lean into Tori and say that. uh... What's his name? Matthias. Matthias. That Matthias's is not connected to us. <laughs> he's not sitting well with me right now. He's not sitting well with me right now. I understand, but he's my only hope at the moment. <laughs> and Tori pulls you closer and whispers. <laughs> <in the air laughs> <right now. laughs> Jesus. God damn it. Okay. You're gonna hate it when you turn it all and steal all of Well, you've already done the second half, as far as I can tell. The first half is a work in progress. Well, second... all the money that you know about. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're heading back. Whatever. Okay. That's I'll work. turn to the others. So, I guess for Molly is at the Broken Anvil. Uh, should we go see to that or wait for the others to get back? What do you guys think? The smart one's the one that always wants to talk to her. <laughs> The smart one. <laughs> but that's me, though. If you're talking about the creepy wizard dude... Uh, creepy wizard dude. Jesus. I say we wait. <clears throat> I'm all for waiting. Alright. Are you guys taking any kind of roundabout way to get back to where you're going? Uh, Not not as much, but yes. Twice, at two shortcuts at least. Okay. Not shortcuts, but the opposite of shortcuts. <laughs> Long cuts? Yeah. Uh, assuming it's still investigation 17, and... Uh, 19. 19. You're able to make your way through the winding streets of Bacon Town relatively easily. Alright. And we'll be 
back. Maybe another oh. hour later you arrive at the Golden Gank. Mm -hmm. It's now getting near midnight, so that means the party is getting started. <laughs> Alright, and, and Toriel... You walk in. To Brim! <laughs> <Yeah>! Hooray! <Yeah! laughs> You'll go pay for those, right? <laughs> Alright, and Toriel <coughs> walks up to everyone. <coughs> ah, I'm just getting a little late. <laughs> <laughs> walks up to the folks at the bar and he's like, Sorry for my departure, abrupt departure, but... Oh, where were you? Hey, Andoria! Hey. What hey. happened? Yeah. I'll explain maybe in a less open environment. I found out where Romalia was. Wh where is she? That's very important. She's apparently at the Broken Anvil, but she's been there a while, so I don't know if she's still there or not. Well, we need to get going Probably and dead check. by now. <laughs> we need to get going I mean, and check. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not in All right. <laughs> then I'll go. How inebriated are we by now? Not that inebriated. Okay. All right, let's go then. <laughs> uh, do we know where the broken anvil is? Uh, I don't. Do we know what it is? Someone oh, was told Black's where it was. Probably Zephyrus. No, I wasn't, wasn't there. I was just told, and they already went like one ear and out the other. So <laughs> Zethus, as a man of the world, you of course have heard of the broken anvil. It was a shoddy but uh, well trafficked uh, place in the Elven markets. Right. I was just about to say that. Not yes. verbatim. <laughs> yes. I wasn't about to say it verbatim, but... <laughs> <laughs> to the Elven Market. Near the Elven Market. He wasn't going to say it verbatim. He was going to pull out his recorder and just play it back. Yeah. <laughs> As Zathus right. is known to do. Yeah. <laughs> so we know the way there, it sounds like, through him. Uh, he knows about where it is. You guys, you know, n don't have a, a line on, like, Google Maps to boop, boop, boop. But, mm. Right. <laughs> Can I Memory open, serves. Open Druid Maps. It's right on, it's near the Elven Market. I can't quite place, can't exactly remember, but it, once we get over there, I'm sure I could, I'll be able to find it. Okay, right. fair enough. And on the way there, uh, Antoria mentions that we visited our friends and we were actually attacked in their very halls by another member of this uh, group that attacked us at the gate. Interesting. Bring them on! <laughs> Wish we knew more about them, like why they're attacking us or what it is they want. And Toria mentions the ring of House uh, Stel, uh, Stel, and that they're from his hometown. But more than and, and other than that, and shouting about tear dogs. Doesn't My really signet ring that I kept forever didn't really have significance, did it? I got a lot of down, signet rings. All I wrote down was that it was a signet <laughs> ring. I believe you said it was a house. Got two but, himself. <laughs> or at least we didn't know what it was from. Um, but it was literally handed to you by the merchant lord. Of uh, the the house that you had insisted on a prize from. Those are the silver yeah. rings. He gave us a, a, some of his silver rings or whatever. Just some not signet rings though. Well, I think he gave you one ring. You guys yeah. poached a number of other rings, maybe from the dungeon <laughs> that you're crawling around in afterwards. Yeah. I would assume that even if it was a signet ring, it's not going to be house style. Right. They're not a house well, of altar. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, all right. So heading to the broken anvil. Once you get into the Elven Market, it's a relatively simple matter for Zathus to, to scrounge up the information and lead you there. It is a dark and damp and smelly location. Pretty if it's right in. Yeah, Aww. there's a bunch of other hobos just sort of <laughs> slumped <laughs> against the walls. Most people are just sort of paying all attention only to themselves and their also beverages. Also wearing sacks. <clears throat> Victoria starts looking around for... Amalia. Give me a investigation check. Okay. Amalia check. <laughs> uh, 16? 16. You notice a figure that looks a little too pretty for this kind of an area. She's tucked away in the back at a booth by herself. Okay. Uh, but I will get Zethus' attention and everyone else's and I'll kind of nod my head in that direction. Should we all go or...? Do we want to remain kind of uh, obscure a little bit, considering? Are you just asking him that out loud after he nodded at you? <laughs> Not like loud, loud, but like I'm gonna whisper that to him after he nods at her. Like, all right, perhaps just me, but keep a watch. After everything that's happened today, I'm not trusting anything. <laughs> right? Ah, probably with good reason. <laughs> what? <laughs> <clears throat> You know, sometimes you see that little loading icon in some RPGs before a battle. Look, <laughs> sometimes there are maps. And Tori is in the kitchen. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm already having to work off a meal. I oh my god, you're not sanitary. Wait a minute, no one in this place is sanitary. Oh, the inspector is going to bust us for code violations. <laughs> All right. This is awful. 
Chef takes a swing at you with his uh, hull. Takes, 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 right. takes us a little too far. Yeah. Roll for ladle damage. Yeah, Tori is approaching cautiously, trying to verify as much as he can that this looks like Romalia. <clears throat> okay. Uh, do I need to roll? Give me a... Another Romalia check. Investigation? Sure. A right. Romalia check. Yeah. Uh, 13. Romalia looks up and says, Hi! Oh, oh, thank goodness you're here. You got my message. Yes. Have you been... Are you aware of what's been going on in town? Oh, I have no idea, but I think I was followed. That's why I arranged to meet you here. You were definitely followed. We've all been followed today. Even some right back to the, a certain place. <clears throat> to the tree. Oh, yeah, wait. I'm not over there. No, yeah, you're you're not. <laughs> you know. I walk up to the bar and get a drink. Places where we should never have been followed. The, the bathroom? <laughs> Rude. Um, wavelength. Yep. <clears throat> Matthias himself was attacked. Oh my god. In the bathroom? He's so fat. <laughs> we managed what to... did he do? He let Sathis and I handle it, actually, but oh, uh, yes, anyway. That's, that's about what I'd expect. <laughs> He's not much of a fighter. Are you kidding? I've or seen, a lover. I've seen his tea collection. It's... Oh, never mind. Look. Anyway, I, I wanted to tell you, that map that you lent me, I've, I've figured out where uh, one of the locations marked on it is. That's excellent news, but at the moment we actually have other problems we need to deal with. Uh, like what? Well, for one thing, you were followed here. Presumably when you leave, you'll probably be attacked. Oh. Probably should go ahead and get that out of the way while you have help around. Are you suggesting to use me as bait? No, I'm suggesting the opposite. If you left alone, you'd be attacked alone. If you leave with us, you'd be attacked alone. Say this, are you standing right where you are on the map there? Sure. Okay. Just blocking the doorway. <laughs> your, your arms are like this against the doorway. Oh, <laughs> like this, you know. Are you like leaning up against the wall next to the door? Yeah. Okay. There we go. The door slams open and smashes you into <laughs> <the door. laughs> Awesome. You take one point of non-lethal damage. <laughs> what the hell? A hugely grotesque, enormous Tarek barges in through the door. Tareks are one of the beast races that live out in the desert. They have big tusky teeth and flat, snarling little eyes. This one looks angry. They all look angry all the time, as if they were never meant to live. And they're upset at their very existence. This one. <sighs> Stomps his way into the middle of the room, and he's followed by a chittering band of little lizards. Silt runners. <laughs> 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 At this, at this crowd, the s sorry lot around the broken anvil looks up. Actually, a little bit surprised. Well, there's not not every day, just a crowd of beasts just stomps into the middle of the tavern in the Elven Market. <clears throat> the big Tarek sniffs, <clears throat> looking around the room. What are you guys doing? I'm at the bar having a drink. I'm rubbing my head. All right. <laughs> I guess I'm also doing this like blank Was stare now. <laughs> oh, not according to that, anyways. I'm observing the situation, just kind of seeing what he's he's sniffing around, out. right? Yeah. Mm. I will find it one of my more fragrant, but not necessarily super spell-like spell components, and try to make it more so. Like if I've got like a sprig of spice. Or a herb or something, I'm going to crack it and try to screw up the smells in the local area. Sure. Um, give me an arcana check for that. Okay. You're like digging through your pouches real yeah. quick. Uh, got a 21. 21? That's pretty good. <laughs> Stomps off into that section of the <clears throat> bar and basically starts leaning in, poking around at each of the patrons. <clears throat> What are the soot limit runners doing? Just They're just sort of <laughs> looking around at each other, all all excited. It's like it's their birthday. Uh, I'll, uh, <laughs> and they're all twins. I'm going to talk to one of those soot runners. <laughs> hey there, little guy. You guys look like you're, you're looking for something. 
What are you looking for? <laughs> Pointing over at the Tarek, just... You're looking for him? <laughs> Who is he looking for? <laughs> are you are you with him? <laughs> <laughs> All of them are sort of like <laughs> ah. They've got spears in their hands, they're right. not just <laughs> I'm gonna. Around. I'm gonna finish. But Tarek uh, has marched. Has sort of made his way around the perimeter and puts his face in your face. I was actually about to finish my drink and say, "What are you looking for?" Pretty. Grabs your ale. <laughs> Not pretty enough. Continues on his way. Hmm. Is there a cup of ale near me? <laughs> uh, there's Romalia's. I quickly take her ale and try to sleight of hand the, hey. filter, of, the filter of love into it. Okay. Fourteen. <laughs> uh, her, her little one and a two. <laughs> Fourteen. Okay. And then once I have the filter of ale, I will position myself kind of in front of her drink uh, looking like I'm drinking it but I'm not having any drop of it of okay <laughs> <laughs> makes his way over to you guys is he near me now yeah yeah salt runners like <laughs> getting kind of anxious okay and <laughs> I will affect very slightly as if I'm afraid of him but I'm still <laughs> pale and I still smell like whatever I released <laughs> Do you want this <laughs> In grabbing it, however, he sees Romalia across the table. She quickly grabs her hood and tugs it down a bit. He's seen her. Pretty. You'll be even prettier after you drink that. <laughs> he grabs your hair and yanks your head back. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Yep. Alright. Um... In Give response to that, when, whenever he's done, yep. I'm going to thunder shout or thunder wave. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Where I am. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna roll to see if he can do anything before sure. you do that. Well, yeah, once he's finished up whatever he's doing. Oh, he's got all kinds of stuff. Okay. He's got plans. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um. Yeah, first I'm going to roll real quick a uh, dex check to see what all he can get away with before you go. Alright. I rolled not so good, so I'm going to say you can only do the one more thing, uh-huh. and that's it. Alright. What he is going to do, though, is he is going to make a grapple attack against you and toss the ale down your face. None. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> having no idea what it is. Having no, no idea what, what's inside. Alright. Um, what we're going to do is you're going to give me a... Opposed strength check. Oh boy. Uh, oh well. <laughs> One question. Yes. I see him picking up the ale again, right? Yes. Can I just focus my efforts instead on not ingesting it? Don't even care that he's going to dump it on me since that seems clear, but just try to not ingest it? Um. Yes. Okay, that's what I'd rather focus my efforts on instead, because I don't. I mean, I, that seems more important than not getting ale dumped on my head. <laughs> He's not drinking any of this particular ale. Okay. Then is a dex check better for you? Oh, uh, sure. That's then a, you can give me an opposed dex check that's instead. A, that's an improvement. The turn to face. Uh, you roll pretty good. I did too. A 20 dex check. Okay. You are splattered good with ale and potion, it seems like. But you have managed... <laughs> um, he has not, however, emptied the entire tankard. Okay. Now... Some thunder, I think. <laughs> thunder. If that's still your plan. Um. So I had thought that you were talking about like you're, he's pulling his hair and was gonna like stab him or something. <laughs> no, instead he like he's just like dumping beer on. Yeah. Him. I will stay my course <laughs> until enough. something a little more violent occurs. Okay. So we might need that. I, however, up. will push my way through the silt runners. What? Oh, I was gonna say we might need the thunder wave marker though. 
Uh, well, we not yet, one. apparently. Yeah, not yet, but... I'll push my way through the soap runners. Okay. Draw my short, uh, draw my short sword and point it. Because I'm assuming, which way is he facing? Is he facing Ramali? He's right? like, yeah, he's, he's like, facing the wall. Yeah. yeah. So I'll point my short sword at the ba- at the base of his skull. Say, hey, let go of him. Mm. Fine. Fine. Throws in Tori to the ground. Um, you're not gonna take all that much damage. You're gonna take like three points of damage. Oh, any save or anything, or just? No, he's got you pretty good, All but right. he lets go of you in the throw. All right. Um, everyone, go ahead and give me initiative rolls. Pretty good. For once. I titled I titled this adventure in Toria's worst, no, most terrible, no, bad, <laughs> whatever the title of that awesome book. I was, was really <laughs> hoping that yeah. you would fail the save yeah. on the drink, and I could queue <laughs> up the other song again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I need an initiative roll, I guess. And Toria and the horrible, no good, very bad Yes, that, that, that's <laughs> it, that's it. Yeah. Uh, that, that one. Chat didn't say, oh my god, Zathus is stepping in to save his love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Now look what you guys have done. Yeah, yeah. Can't new, stop the new bromance. franker face emotes. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stop the bromance. Uh, and Toria, what did you get, anyway? 18. Uh, that's pretty good. Marvin? 22. Jeez. What a badass. Spirit? 18. No bonus, though. I don't know if he has one. What did you get, Andrew? 18. Oh, 18. Yep. But did okay. you have a bonus? Oh, yeah. uh, plus two dex bonus. Yeah. He's got me beaten. Uh, Zathus. 16. Marcus? 9. <laughs> 9! Somebody Nine. had a little bad. Ramalia's down here. And the Tarek. Worse. <laughs> <laughs> and the Silt Runners are not so good. <laughs> wow. Everyone goes before the enemies. That's just just terrific. PC awesome. slowdown. Uh, Marvin, you're up first. So, turns out I actually don't have any Thunder Wave. Oh. <laughs> oh. Fireball. Fluff. And <laughs> Lightning Bolt doesn't meet my criteria <laughs> yeah. for it's doing as bad. much damage as possible. There's only one Who'd spell. That'll do the most damage possible. Oh, what do we got? And that would be fireball. Yeah. Oh no! Is that geez. really the word so on the street? <laughs> I, I am going to okay, step here. back. <laughs> it won't hit many people. Many of us. I'll, I'll take. Oh, actually, I'm near a friendly, so I'm yeah. not taking any. And I am going to aim. Stand up. I don't have to be hit. Yeah, I definitely yeah, don't. I'm well outside. Zaytha's so might be. I have to. Can you? Aim, can I aim? Yeah, I can. Aim yeah, right it'll here. just yeah. go outside the building. Yeah, so you don't. Yeah, really so have you any go any around corners. Almost. No one named is out there. Is this? Uh, is this the bad guy? Oh, yeah. that's the bad guy. But okay. Zaytha's is right in the middle. Poor guy. Who's this? Uh, that's Marcus. 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 <laughs> Marcus. Yeah. You're also gonna hit a fair number of patron goers. That's he I don't care about. Yeah, he doesn't give a shit. Oh my god. That's gonna hit Zaytha, so. That hits me. I realize that's not going to stop your decision. It's just worth mentioning. Yeah. That Sorry. I've made my final decision. He'll just make an epic speech again. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Look <laughs> here, I have evidence that those drunkards <laughs> were conspiring against the city. Do you want me to roll for wild magic to recharge my touch chaos? Uh, yes, yes I do. Roll so, one. Well, no, actually that because it recharges oh, my oh, touch right, chaos. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, no. So you did the damage. There's two different rolls. You're gonna turn into a vase. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I do have a vase. Okay, that's a lot. This is not gonna be good. No. I'm gonna save. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get inspiration you for this? Save because for you're half. attacking allies. <laughs> I'm attacking everyone. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> All right, I'll give. Who? I'll give. Well, you have She's to. Give it, I don't like you. Or I don't like you very much. You have to you give it away right away. I will yeah. give it to you for the saving. Oh. I'm so, not saving on this, right? No, no, yeah, it's gonna be Dex. He's no, but saved. I'm not getting hit. Oh, you're yeah, not he's getting barely, he's I'm barely. sorry, who's you? It's yeah. Me and, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll have to give it to you. Thank you. So it's 10, 20, 30, <laughs> 35, 35. It, it's not that I don't like you, it's just more like you don't like me and thus. So, uh, so 16 is the dex you're going for. Alright. 16 dex save. I guess I should do that too. Uh, and Toria manages just barely to roll mostly out of the way. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> natural one! Yeah! Oh, you like 
jump into the fireball. <laughs> Face first. Yeah. Well, it kind of couldn't help it. It was all the same oh, right after. Probably going down. Yeah. 30, so well, you can use 30, 30, your reaction to half damage from any source. 35. Just do that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, just take half. That's right. <laughs> by, 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 that. by sheer declaration. Was that Re count spells, the saving kids. throws, or is that... Yeah, no, it's just everything. It's just things. Just cuts yeah, half everything. down. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take the pizza. Uh, oh, this actually might not be bad. You said it was 35 base 35. damage? 35. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, my uncanny dodge. Yep. It works. Okay. Um, so 17? Save. Yeah, seventeen so if you if you six, save sixteen. Oh, sixteen? Thirty-five should be seventeen if you save. Sorry, uh, it's the, the DC. Oh, the DC is sixteen. Is 16. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. So seventeen damage. Seventeen damage if you save. Yeah, yeah thirty-five 30, if you didn't. Yeah. Okay. Okay, all of the silt runners that I took so much time <laughs> printing and cutting out and slipping into sleeves, <laughs> like a bunch of candles on a cake. I was gonna throw one at the Tarek. Well, <laughs> you can you still grab, can. You can get a skeleton. One. Yeah. So if we happen to get to the next r turn, basically for the next ten turns. I thought you were gonna say a room. Like this is <laughs> the, like this. Ah, I found the trapdoor that leads into the dungeon. Oh, well, yes. For the next ten. <laughs> yes. Turns, because that's a minute, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I roll on the white ma wild magic table. That's the best <laughs> one. <laughs> but I don't think this is gonna That's last. Gonna, that yeah. long. I don't know. Uh, so the Tarek actually like ducks and rolls and does a pretty, pretty impressive job of uh, ducking out of the way of the damage. <laughs> he seems oh, displeased. God. He pulls out a great axe. <laughs> Are you done, Tarek? That's still pretty good. <laughs> hey, Toria. All right, and Toria will. Uh, stand up. How many patrons did I kill? Yeah. Uh, so... It was centered here. Yeah, so maybe so like five, five or six. That's uh, okay. well within acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, who knows how many people outside, because yeah. it goes through doors. Oh, God. And they might have... <laughs> Alright, and he will move to here and take the dodge action. Word on the street is Brim is casting okay. so fireballs. He's, right, he's, he's, standing ready, he's standing ready to dodge attacks. Okay. Right, Barrett, it's his turn. Um, Alright, I guess I'll, uh, I'll bear up. Bear out. Bear out and bear down on the enemy. Oh, actually, I want to say, you'll see he was pretty now. And then shift. <laughs> and then claw and bite him. Okay. Light one will be claw. I need to stop doing that. Bad rolls. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure both miss unless a 10 hits. Negative. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I miss. Yeah. Good thing I taunted <clears throat> just in time to miss. Because yeah. Yeah. that's what happens when you taunt. <laughs> Say this. Ah. All right, I come back around and try to finish what I started. Well, you threatened to start it. You yeah, started that's, it. Right. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> threatened to start it. Yeah. Uh, Eleven, fifteen. As I. Only there was somewhere on the sheet to write this stuff down. Nineteen? Nineteen? Nineteen will hit. <laughs> stabity, 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 stabity. Alright. Yeah, you should get, like, this one. This one's pretty good. Well, I have, I was in the, I'm in the middle of transferring all my stuff to another, uh, character sheet, so I'm on two different character sheets. Mm -hmm. I don't have everything in one spot right now. Uh, the Zathus upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> Zathus 2.0. 2. 2. 2. <laughs> I hate when the disc stalls out in the middle and then you have to restart from the beginning. Oh, oh that's not very good. Six, twelve. Save the speed. It's an update. Restart now, <laughs> or postpone for one hour. Uh, you had your dex monitor? Uh, to damage, yes. To damage, but not proficiency. Right. Three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, Fourteen points of damage. <laughs> and then mm. bonus action disengage. Marcus, uh, I have a question for the point purpose of. Ability recharging was the time spent in the tavern considered a short rest. It was at least an hour. I can see us. that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. In that case, <laughs> <laughs> action surge. More attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. We'll do them one at a time. First attack. More like. Uh, seventeen. Action surge. Seventeen will hit. Ooh, okay, one hit. More than seventeen. Oops. Yes. I that was a roll. <laughs> that was, that was an 18. But yeah. Another hit. Enough. Nice. Three. 
And 18. Eight. Eight. Four hits. Yeah. 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 Four hits. Yeah. 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 Take off two le- two feet and two hands. <laughs> two hands. <laughs> <Two hands. laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. Just a torso head. <laughs> Just a pile of parts drops. Ten. <laughs> oh, let's see. This is ten. Uh, oh, wait. I can roll that too. Yes. Eighteen. Since the words describe your mini killing blows in the future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, 18, 25, 36, 41 damage. 41? <laughs> yeah, wow. So that's a lot of swords. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like a, a great great sword. hand slap with a great sword. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this giant sword. Romalia <laughs> clutches a dagger and uh, stands defensively, uh, content to let you do most of the heavy lifting, it looks like. Um, he uh, hews into you with his uh, great axe, Lobos. Let's see how much he does. does. Yeah, you did kind of distract him for me. <laughs> uh, I crit. Oh. No. He may do uh, quite a <laughs> bit. But only once, right? <laughs> yes. Not four times. Not four times, no. <laughs> um. Actually, I'm probably going to go now. <laughs> yeah, we, we haven't healed. Yeah. yeah. Um, so when we go rest somewhere. I'm willing to bet. Too much action. Yeah, 31 points of great axe damage. Uh, ah! Weak flesh. <laughs> <laughs> um, then he roars. <laughs> infuriated and does a spin attack, hitting oh. anyone nearby. Oh, yeah. no. He has disadvantage when attacking me, though. Oh, no. Does a... Uh, 20, wait, disadvantage. Yeah, I forgot <laughs> those things. Does 14 hit you? No. Okay. Doesn't need a shield. He just ducks under it. Okay. Um, does 17 hit you, Garrett? Yes. Yeah! Everything hits me. Come on. <laughs> you don't need to ask. If you roll a die, you hit Barret. <laughs> Congratulations. If you can roll a die, you can hit a bear. As long as you don't roll a one. <laughs> you take 19 points of great axe damage. Done. You're... Well, it was wonderful playing with you. <laughs> and then I take the damage. <laughs> oh, did he just cleave or whirlwind he attack? Whirlwind. He did because like he that, knocked yeah. you down. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I went down from the normal attack. Yeah, right, he, but then then that w- that triggered his whirlwind problem. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Uh, no, it's a daily thing that he can do. Um, yeah. He's a 4th edition monster. Oh. He <laughs> is kind of 4th He's very forthcoming. Yeah. Um, Marvin, it's your turn. Uh, let's go ahead and roll Wild Woo! Magic. Yeah, let's do yeah. it! Yeah. Woo! Let's keep it going. I got a Roman keep candle over there. Keep the game going for ten turns. I hope he gets that same thing again where it doubles <laughs> the Fuck! Potted plant? No, roll a d10. My age changes. Oh no, you're gonna oh, die of old age. Oh, I, could, I could get younger. Yeah. Do so you go back to normal? No, it, it's no. random what the effect is. It yeah. may make it no, worse. No, no, no. Didn't oh. you get this once before? Yeah, I got an yeah, age it's ten years. Right. Before we roll this, what is your age right now, then? My age right he, now kid, is... Right? No, no, I am uh, 35. Right, he okay. was 25, he's 35. Yeah. So, yeah. You, you uh, can go up uh, or down 10. 10 again. Right. Oh, wait, wait. Lord, I... Thank you. <laughs> oh no, he's forty five now. <laughs> forty five. I assume this time I assume this time we're gonna notice something's different. As a matter of fact you don't. No? Nope. Oh, okay. The blue oh, hides yeah, is uh, very yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the blue yeah, hides true. the wrinkles. Yeah. 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 Okay, and but then, you uh, feel it in your bones. Oh I do. Yeah. <laughs> You've got arthritis now. In all of your bones. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. say have a strange urge to shake your uh, scepter at clouds and yell <laughs> at them and start to come on. Sudden, his... Suddenly you have out of date opinions. Yeah. Tell yeah. people walking down the street, hey, Kids slow these down. <laughs> I'm still gonna cast one of my, my back in my day we used to cast fire bolts. <laughs> Alright, but I'm gonna do Scorching Ray. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna use my Tides of Chaos for he forgets what spell he's casting mid, mid- on the cast. first one. <laughs> There's a fair bit of, uh, by the way, fire like on the walls. There's plenty Scorch of oh, things good. that have, yeah. no. I mean, like, oh, it's not the room is on fire. But there's lots of like fires, like just small B- ones. Just some VFX of spawn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So the first one crits. Whoa. So it's gonna be eight. Kind of flattered at all the awesome damage being Plus, dealt in the defense uh, of me getting <laughs> So 13 on the first one. This group is just 13 groups. You damage on the first anyway, okay. so. yeah. And then the second one, 25. 
points I hit. I'm very glad. Yeah. 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 Let me very very right you have 15 on hit. Yeah. You're sure 20. So so there's no uh, point in rolling awful good in Dark Sun. Yeah. You're just going to be miserable. Yeah, exactly. You won't get to have fun, and it'll, it'll be your role playing responsibility to yell at everyone else. Third fireball. Third scorching ray. I assume most players are going to play as Dungeons and Dragons character. Which is like this weird, like blend of like, well, justice, but also money <laughs> and murder. Actually, yeah, yeah. Like every Dungeons and Dragons group turns into it. Yeah. Yeah. Justice. Yeah. Is one, I think this one more guys. than most. Though. I mean, our murder, our straight up murder count is in like in the thirty or forty range at this point. Mm -hmm. That's a lot for most D&D. Did groups. you write down the first damage Sorry. that I did? Yes, I did. Okay, oh, good, because I. I mean, murder is like right, innocent so the, the, people. You oh, do, people who wait, we're good kill. because you miscalculated it. So I've written down the good. <laughs> what was the first one? The first one was nineteen. Yes, points okay. of damage. Right. Okay. And then the second and third total would be. 20. The second one was twenty-five total. And then the to third hit. one. Oh, that's right. To hit. That's to right. Hit. Yeah. So did you get the first damage? It was nineteen. Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, the second, so and then the second, the third hit, on first? and for twenty-two more damage. Twenty-two. He is looking around. All fire so, damage. Yeah, forty-one. Ah! Thank you. Very ah. nice. Oh, there we go. It's Antoria. <laughs> All right, Antoria. How does he know everyone's name? Yeah. Well, sleight of hand, a What's spell. A uh, got a 14 on the sleight of hand, and he spits a green glob at the, uh, creature in front of him. Is it a parapet of love? No. <laughs> it's a DC 15 con save, though. Okay. Good at those. Uh, no, I'm not. Oh my god. Alright, in that case, takes, uh, 12 poison damage. Ah! <laughs> ah! Weak. Weak. He falls to his knees. Is he... He's down, but not out. Mm, Alright, well, I've, I've used my action, unfortunately, so I can't do anything with it. Okay, Barrett. Alright, see if I can finish this. He's on his knees, right? So Claws will be like... I celebrate <gasps> the first actual use I of poison spray in, like, like four experience Alright, see this. <laughs> Alright, um, so since he's That's on a his hard knees, one to is he, use. like, yeah. would that be advantage? Or so range, huh? bad saving throw, bad damage type. Only huh. good thing is, hey, it is 2d12. <laughs> Doesn't have penalty. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good when it's actually worth trying. I've seen it hit every time I've seen it cast. Yeah, the con save makes me nervous. I mean, this this should have failed. <laughs> does 26 hit? 26 does hit. <laughs> Describe for me your killing blow. <laughs> okay. Uh, Is it one hit? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, with a sneak attack, it could be a lot more than one. None of this matters. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I go, I walk up to him and I go, Hey, Tarek! I said, leave him alone! <laughs> I fucking lop his head off. Jeez. <laughs> Beast blood. So. <clears throat> What's that rolling going on? For Nothing. You? Marcus. <laughs> Marcus. What? You need a death saving throw, buddy. Do I? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, is it my turn? Yeah, it's your oh, turn. Oh, I thought combat <laughs> ended. You're okay, laying yeah. down. Let's see if <laughs> I... Let's still going. I'm succeed once. Okay. Ching. All right. Oh, shift back. Not right now. No, you won't. Oh, oh yeah, we're still in this one. Yeah. 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 We're in round. Uh, all right, all right. much to your surprise, the headless body spins up and grabs your neck in a chokehold. Oh. <clears throat> that is... Yeah, I would be very surprised. <laughs> yes! <laughs> He throws you to the ground. Oh my. <clears throat> Choke slam. Uh, you take only like four points of damage. <laughs> His throws are not so great. Yeah. <laughs> Marvin. Roll for wild magic again. The Roman candle. <laughs> Seven. Oh, Jesus. Victoria. <laughs> yes. I cast fireball. Centered on myself. Yeah! <laughs> I'm out of third level spells. What? Oh yeah. I'm gonna counter it. Oh, I will save this time. Oh, oh my God. good. Yes. Yeah. That's what all here. the days no. I have put a... I'm sorry, man. It's not gonna no. hit us, though. No, but yeah. you'll hit plenty more vagrants. <laughs> he doesn't so care at all. Oh. All of them were legitimate uses. One was a counterspell on a skull, a skull. One was the counterspell on your first fireball. The other was the fireball at the gate. I mean, that's all the third. I couldn't have rolled any better. For Not this. for hitting yourself. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of right. Don't forget your next save. That's right. That's I could good. not that's... have picked the day to use a fights after yeah, death creature that's better. That's cocked. Yeah, that's, that's cocked. Cocked. Yeah, let's redo it. Man, that was pretty close though. 
Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Not, uh, not 16. Not, so. All right. not without like 26 decks. <laughs> So, not paying attention to anyone, there's another explosion in the background. <laughs> Everyone's like, what the hell was that? <laughs> One direction. The fireball's everywhere, man! <laughs> the day the city of Tyr exploded, yeah. one block at a time. <laughs> Slither wasn't the danger. Yeah. <laughs> it was Brim all along. Uh, yeah. It was all Brim. <laughs> you realize Brim's gonna be, like, yeah. executed. I did the fireball! <laughs> yeah. I did the fireball! The next day we got on, he's, like, hanging outside the tavern. Oh, oh, no. uh, so, I, I will, um... Yeah. I, I guess I agony. will use... <laughs> I'm gonna use Scorching Ray again on this this body. Okay. Um, can I regenerate my Tides of Chaos for Wild Magic? Yes. All right. <laughs> Believe me, I wish so, I could have counterspelled it. I could use the shield. <laughs> Fifty-one. Hey, all right. Spectral Shield gives me plus two AC and immunity to magic missile. Oh, hey, uh, can nice I make a minute. perception check to see if I notice that? Sure. Uh, natural twenty. Natural oh. twenty. Toria actually looks reluctantly impressed. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, it's a, shield, it's a shield he doesn't know how to do. Uh, Thirteen. Does that hit at all? Uh, a 13 does not hit, actually. So, I'm sorry. Um, that was still a okay, what about uh, resilient little body? 16. 16 will hit. Alright, so he takes 6 points of fire damage. Okay. And then I have one more that will hit then, and 7 points. Alright. He drops to his knees again, and this time falls torso flat <laughs> and bursts into flames. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, there's fire all over the tavern. There's people running and screaming. Uh, here, out in the streets, there's people writhing on the ground. <laughs> a flame. Yep. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. We're, we're technically out of combat. Now we are, yes. But there are things in here that would be advantageous for me to get. There's also <laughs> things in well, there that would be so, pretty terrible for you But I guess. would say since you got it, it's, does it last during combat or does it say it lasts oh, it 10 lasts rounds? for 10 rounds. If yeah. it lasts for 10 yeah. rounds, we should keep going. Yeah, Because yeah. we, we last time we cut it off early and I'm like, well, because some of them are like restore hit points or gain spells back. Or, or turn into a potted plant or, for a day. Or cast fireball <laughs> on yourself. Yeah. It, it says Let's it lasts it. 10 rounds. It should yeah. go 10 rounds. Okay, but on his next turn though. Because we've got some like situations other than that. Like, yeah, yeah, let's let's deal with uh, yeah. Marcus yeah, first. So I'm, actually, initiative. I'm up next. I will go uh, use a charge of a healing kit on Marcus. Do you, okay. Do you have one? Yeah, I have one. Okay. That brings me to one. I have a seven. I have an 18, 18 in. I have a healing kit. Trust me. Yes. <laughs> I thought I had the only one in the party. Nope. I bought one and actually recharged it back at the Aracopra camp. Mm. <laughs> 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 yep. Uh, are, are you shifting back? Uh, well, if he's stabilized, maybe not. But I don't know if anything else is going to happen. Yep. It's it's dark sun. Something's always going to happen. There's fire yeah, all over the room. There's people <laughs> screaming and dying. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to shift I'm going to heal some HP with my second wind. I'm, I'm done. Zathus, pull out. Um, I, Zathus. How, uh... His, his body burst into flames. I mean, is he still on fire? Is he? It is on fire, but it's not like unrecognizable or anything like that. Okay. It's like in the early stages. So is there any, of a, any way to loot it? Or... Is it possible to loot? You probably want to put it out first. Okay. <laughs> then I will uh, do my best to try and put out the the body. How are you doing that? Um, Just for I'll <laughs> grab a flavor's sake. Are there any tablecloths on? I mean, <laughs> this is anything? not that kind of an establishment. <laughs> Any uh, any draperies, anything? There's like More a booze on him. dead guy with a cloak. All right, I'll rip the, the cloak off the dead guy. Okay. And try and uh, smother the flames. <laughs> oh, I'm not dead. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, it's <laughs> fine. I don't care. Oh. I, I kick his hands. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, Squad of truth, everybody. Not quite the, the usual D and D group. Folks. The second worst day I've ever had. He starts <laughs> crawling for the exit. <laughs> Okay, yeah. patting him out. Yeah. Marcus? I got nothing right now. Okay. 
Romalia is kind of in a state of shock. She's kind of like... It's clearly she's never seen this much action, action before. <laughs> I, I will, I will we not, actually get this a lot. I'm going to for the record that for all that she made fun of Matthias for not doing anything in his own defense, she didn't either. Uh, but she no. had a dagger, at least. At yeah. least she pulled a weapon. Yeah, she did yeah. at least pull the weapon. I'll give her that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta cross that off. I mean, mm-hmm. things happen pretty fast. They did. Yeah, they did. Like, Marvelly all of the exit. Uh, yeah, I was like, fire's going, <laughs> dead bodies are crawling, what's the girl to do? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking it's of which, I guess we're back to you. Wild um, time. Unless there's uh, some other NPCs to go. No, no, no. I mean, there's lots of screaming. Oh, no one's <laughs> eager to rush into the... There's not, like, a fire brigade or anything like that. Certainly not in this part of town, anyway. I guess I'll, I'll roll... It's up to you. Is this number four? No, uh, this is only the third one. <laughs> oh, God. So, 31. Oh, God, I'm... Yes? Transported to the astral plane until the end of my next turn. Oh, my God! What? I have <laughs> something for that! Really? <laughs> oh, no. Awesome. Oh, man. So, is that just his Is that just his astral form or his whole body? I, I like, guess my whole body. Yeah. Just blinked out of existence. I just, like, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's like... Where'd Marvin go? You can see Marvin just like completely freaking out and losing his mind. <laughs> uh, I'm just imagining you're like a, like he said earlier, a Roman candle. You're just like, <laughs> stuff's like flashing all over you and now you're gone. Just a little star Oh, I remember that. Oh, oh, nice. It's so pretty. <laughs> Alright, and then I come so back. he's floating. Wait, until the n- yeah, end of your yeah, next, next turn. turn. Yeah. So, so one spell effect will take place here at least. Yeah, and then yes. it'll come back. Oh, yeah. That's right, okay. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Oh wait. Are oh, yeah. you doing anything? Hmm? Me? Yeah. So. Oh, I figured we were just burning through these. Like, well, is well, anyone doing anything else? Oh, we oh so we someone was looking through the, the loot. Yeah, we want to search that guy. Yeah, okay, so you've had him out. He's yeah. got this pretty big, impressive-looking great axe. It's um, made of bone, admittedly, so not like a special material, but it is pretty vicious-looking. Um, he also has. Uh, so it's only. Swords I guess I don't them. necessarily need. Marcus has a sign around next to the swords of <laughs> monster hunter music. Yep, this class cannot equip axes. This class <laughs> being Lobos. <laughs> My arms are tattooed with the swords. Uh, he axes also has like quite a bit of uh, traveling rations and that kind of thing. Uh, and he also has a uh, piece of parchment with a crudely drawn picture of Romalia on it. Mm. Mm. I take that and I kind of. I say, I, you know, I just your Tantoria. And then I show him the, the parchment. I said bad luck looking at scrolls. He might, like, avert his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, he doesn't even notice you've stuck it in his face for about five seconds. Then he finally shakes his head. And, I, and then he's startled. It's like, uh, oh. Yes, as we thought. And then he's distracted again. Yeah. Cool. So it's not just us. All of us. Hmm. Well, Bramalia sort of comes out of her haze. I, I think that might have been who was following me. I've, I've, I've heard repu- r- reports of a brutish man looking for me in the Golden Kank. Hmm. <clears throat> I have an idea, but we need to figure out what's happened to Marvin first. Before we Is go. it back to Zoop. Marvin's turn? <laughs> yeah. Well, wait, your turn happens just, there, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, cast, I cast Fog centered on myself. Oh, okay. Which I'm <laughs> assuming then just stays over there. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> we, we don't want to spend more time in the astral plane. I can't. <laughs> this music? Yeah, yeah. 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 can't. I can't. No. I... Yeah, he only had the one turn. A short, a short vacation. Just a bathroom break. <laughs> okay, well, back to the bath in a second. Boing? Yeah. Oh, he's back, but... Can I, I sense that he's, like, in the grip of this really nasty wild magic stuff? After Doesn't this? seem that nasty. Now, I assume that it whenever... started with a fireball. I assume <laughs> that whenever wild magic procs, he's got, like, a particular particle effect that goes <laughs> off or something like that, so it's probably, like, continuing to go on. Mm-hmm. Really. And Tori will kind of motion everyone back. He's gonna have to get this under control on his own. <laughs> just, just, like, back. Seen Let him get just, it out yeah. of his yeah. system. Yeah. Put some rawhide between his teeth. I don't, <laughs> I don't have enough energy to stop it this time. Uh, so if, I die, well if I die within the next minute, I come back. That was, the, that was the other one. That was another race. Yeah. Alright, well, that's a good one to have when you've yeah. got this crap going on. Alright, now uh, you just so fireball yourself. I've got, again. Fi- I mean, I've got five more of these. Okay, the same thing. Wait, is happened. that the one you come back as a different race? Yes. yes. <laughs> so I just, I cast the exact same thing happened. So. Oh. Double reincarnate? I, that would be. Nine you come back as two creatures at once. You come back as uh, two. You and dwarves. all the creatures. 
Everyone within 30 feet gains vulnerability to piercing damage for the next minute. Oh. Five, 10, 15, I don't know 20. which effect <laughs> yeah. that is supposed to like emulate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, blood thinning. Anemia? Like, yeah, yeah, like anemia? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, for uh, the next minute, you can think of. everyone gets paler. Oh. Yeah. For the next minute, I can uh, teleport 20 feet as a bonus action. <laughs> <laughs> I should have used the hell out uh, of that. Quickly, to the bank! Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's no, there's no, there's no bank in there. There's no bank in there. Fuck. Alright, gotta roll a d10 for age changing again. Oh, no! <laughs> Jesus. Some of these are weighted. You're gonna, like, He's gonna die of yeah. old age. <laughs> Seven. Oh, you got yes, seven I years go younger. down. Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, gain so of thirteen. Like, hey, boys, I'm much younger now. <laughs> <laughs> you no longer feel the urge to yell at clouds and to speak ill yeah. of children. So I'm now thirty-eight. <laughs> and this is the last step. one. Seventy-seven. Lucky seventy-seven. Lucky sevens. I cast polymorph on myself. <laughs> yes. Permanent. Does or it say what form? If I fail a saving throw, I turn into a sheep for the spell's duration. Polymorph. Mm -hmm. Interesting. How long got polymorph? Yeah. A sheep. <laughs> yeah. The saving throw is gonna be your DC 16. I don't know what's that though. I'm pretty sure. It There's is probably, probably wis w wisdom. Uh, for polymorph, I can see con. Uh, wisdom. It's wisdom save. Yeah. So DC 16 oh, wisdom. Yeah, it lasts one hour. That's the best. <laughs> oh no. Be sheep. <laughs> please, please fail. Please <laughs> fail. <laughs> don't can shoot. you willfully fail? I don't know. Uh, probably not a wild. Oh. oh, oh saved. You saved. You can also knock the, uh, someone out of it by killing the animal form. It's like his bear form. It reverts oh, them to no, the other I've had this for months. <laughs> uh, he was ready. Uh, he was ready. Oh, man. Maybe next time. Oh, it's going to be a long time before there's a next time on that, is, probably. Yeah. Is the uh, owner of the establishment or the bartender still here? No, no one's here. Uh, well, for well, once... there's the old one man that's still like... Trying to Do you still have his cloak? Yeah, exit. Uh, uh, I, yeah, I mean, it's like, I'm probably on the floor next right. to me because I put him Victoria out. Victoria Mage hands the cloak back to the guy. Arr, on top, it's but, been patting on a dead turret. <laughs> it's partially on fire. <laughs> Victoria just kind of shakes his head and doesn't bother with it Arr, further. Can I have five bits for a new one? Victoria reluctantly sends one gold piece over to oh, him. Oh, it's very generous. Um, well, here are the of, of truth! Speaking of, Barrett will, actually... Oh, but over. my legs have been gone for several years. Can, can I have another gold gold coin for my troubles? Victoria ignores him at this I'll point. I'll toss the gold his way. Oh, all hail the squad! <coughs> the truth! Actually, <coughs> leave, oh, please. Oh, I've, I've, oh, I've got <laughs> sand tuberculosis. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have five gold for a cure? I'd like to pick up this guy and motion him towards the door. Oh, th oh, <laughs> oh, th oh, 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 I'm actually, uh, yeah, as I was say, Barrett's guilty conscience weighing on him a bit. He's actually gonna leave five gold on the, uh, counter. <laughs> <laughs> we burned down your whole establishment. Here's five gold. It can't be worth It'll probably help for pay. Five for gold. I, mean, I thought you hated bars anyway. You wanted us to fireball the last one. We fireballed this I one like twice. I like bars. They have alcohol. <laughs> no. I did what you wanted. Someone looks up from the, from behind the bar and goes, <laughs> <laughs> Give me a perception check. <laughs> See if it's actually I don't. Yeah. I ate. All right. All right. I mean, it's very possible the owner of this establishment is no longer with us. Yeah. Yeah. And Toriel over the out in the street. <laughs> All right. There's pretty, other than us and the guy who's crawling outside very very slowly. There's no one left in here, right? Other than us. Very loudly. There's Romalia's here. No one here is alive. No. All right. Over the course of like, eh, it's probably like 20 seconds. And Toriel will message each person in turn, including Romalia. Follow me, do not speak any further of our destination. We have to get somewhere safe. And each of you can reply within half a minute, and then he starts walking outside. All these voices. Ah! <laughs> it's only one voice per person. Yeah. I mean. It's not like you all can hear each other now. No, but I mean, we all see we you are replying. Yeah. We all go, what? Huh? What did you, you say? What? I didn't get that. Huh? <laughs> Just gestures. Did you guys hear something? Yeah. I'll sheath my sword and follow. All right. All right. Yeah. I'll and go, I'm. We'll and follow. does Romola. Romola. Yeah. Romola. Yeah. <laughs> It's the woman coming. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. That is wow. God up. damn. <laughs> I can't say her name. Romalia. Romalia, okay. Jeez. Oh, yeah. the redhead, then, if you're going to... It's 2015. <laughs> not in Dark Sun, it's not. It's yes, not. it is. 2015 very... BC, maybe. You guys cast magic so many times. It's very tolerant. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> 
Anyway, the I'm ginger actually, is coming with I'm actually us leading them to the entrance to the underdark that we know, under tier that we know of. Uh, the one in the screaming cellar. Yes. All right. Give me a perception check to find your way there. Uh, perception or investigation? Whichever. Okay, investigation. I've been there. It doesn't matter. Okay. Is that in the... Uh, ten? Ten. It takes a little while, but you managed to find it. All right. Is that in the Elven District? It is. Yeah, yeah it's pretty close. relatively it's close by. pretty close by. Yep. Uh, we go inside. I will spend ten minutes unless someone interrupts me casting an alarm on the mental ping mode. Excludes all of us. <clears throat> okay. Romalia does not interrupt you. Anyone else? Inter all right. And then we will go further down, not all the way into, not, not climbing any of the ladders or anything, but going as far into this building as we can. I'm casting two more alarms as we go, both in mental ping mode. Okay. Alright, this is probably as safe as we can get at the moment. Oh, it smells down here. It does. <laughs> True, but no one knows to look for us here, hopefully. Oh, we killed so many people. Yeah, accidents yeah. happen. Yeah, we, we tend to do that, actually. If anyone asks, it was Brom. <laughs> Brem. 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 <laughs> See, I'm not the only one who has trouble with names. I was going to say, if anyone asks, it was the werewolf dude that did it. Yes, him too. <laughs> yes, sure, yes. Werewolf but for now, we, Whatever he was. I've set, I've yeah, set the usual man. wards. For now, we should try and rest. This may be the only safe place in town for us right now. We're standing in a sewer. I'm didn't, not lying down in here. This is ridiculous. Well, we didn't go. I didn't want to go into the sewer. Like one, like the last decent. You're on the room ledge before. of the sewer. Yeah, the last decent room that you could rest in before the sewer. I think that would be the room with all the boxes and stuff. Uh, basement? that's like one room away. Yeah. But sure. Okay. Sure. That'll work. Okay. So we're taking a long rest. Easy. That's what I. Yeah. We should probably rest. Today. I would love to rest. I would, I would too. Okay. All right. We'll try and rest for eight hours. Very well. Are you setting a watch? Uh, we should. Yes. Not it. How long do the alarms last? <laughs> alarms last eight hours, so we, we have alarms for the whole thing, but we should probably still should probably have a sleep soundtrack on here, too. <laughs> Just, like, all sleep jingles. Oh, God. So, oh, watch order. Uh, let's see. Antorio volunteers for first watch. Okay. I'll take second watch, I guess. Okay. Mm, would you mind taking third, Zavis? I'm fine with that. Um, fourth. Uh, Marvin, apparently. All right. <laughs> what? You were taking fourth watch, if that's all right. This is the f how brute of a man he is. I'm weak. He's I'm, already asleep. I'm a weak old asleep. man. Watch is, watch, <laughs> watch is about the eyes, not the muscles. All right. With that watch order established, we will rest for eight hours. Very well. So the hit dice we regain how many? Half of our total? Yeah, which would be two for fifth level characters. Sure. Anything interrupting us? No, nope, your sleep goes uninterrupted. Yeah. Alright, right. too bad. <laughs> spells! Glorious spells! Oh, thank god, yes. I was running Life. around with only first level spell slots left. Not cool. Do death saves auto clear when you're they stabilized? Clear. Yeah, they clear as soon as you're stabilized. It's pretty awesome. Just like real life. Yeah. Alright, I'm of course recasting Mage Armor as soon as I wake up. Okay. Quite cheerful for a... <laughs> for a sewer. Yeah. <laughs> it's sewer a new house. day, full of possibilities. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we we survived water. another day in Dark Sun. Thanks. The Mark. first possibility, though, is a rousing speech <laughs> by your leader. Wow. Mm. I'd rather have breakfast. The leader Marcus, of the Squad of Truth? Marcus Cook's a nice. I, I'm gonna pull Romalia aside and... Well, not aside, but just be like... She's not allowed to listen. <laughs> yeah, it's like, listen, this is... This These hit points are for the men, darling. This is, <laughs> this is for the Squad of Truth oh, ears man. only. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I understand. I'll, I'll wait in the next room. <laughs> what if she gets attacked? She can use it. Mm. <sighs> I'm, I'm waiting for one of my party members to come back. <laughs> I come back, I have drinks, guys! Oh, I wonder where you got those from. Thank you. Mm. All right. Water just pouring out of this hole over here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's nice and green. I'm a druid. Yeah. Wait, did you find this in Slither? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I saw the most I amazing I know. thing <laughs> a couple hours ago. It was a... Another world. There were 
stars. And that was pretty much it. It was amazing. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of time there. It was about six or ten seconds. Hmm. So that's where you went. Do I recognize his description as the astral plane? Give me an arcana check. Okay. Uh, 24. Uh, no. Is that a druid thing? Okay. Uh, no. And I have, uh, but in my short time there, I have claimed this other world for the Squad of Truth. <laughs> <laughs> I believe this is uh, completely uninhabited and uh, may pose as a staging ground. So let it be known that the Squad of Truth has an official area. <laughs> great, how do we get there? I would love to go there and see this. <laughs> yeah, sounds great. <laughs> I've called it the Area of Truth. <laughs> <laughs> and this is all of our homes. <laughs> How do we get home? Ten hit points. <laughs> <laughs> Speech is done. 